continue to get better because that's what it's going to take on down the road. Right. And, you know, I think they will. Well, let's take a, a full break here. When we come back, we'll touch on the Callaway Cavaliers, and then uh, we'll see where we're at as far as getting ready for this kickoff tonight. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. State Farm, this is Gwen. Salutations, Gwen. I have car insurance, but I want to protect the rest of the stuff in my apartment. Some of my action figures were ruined recently. We can add a renter's policy. For the cost of one action figure, we can protect your entire army of action figures against fire, theft, burst pipes. Great. You have no idea how hard it is untangling wet alien hair. Add renter's insurance to your auto policy and get to a better state. State Farm. For a money-saving way to protect your possessions, call agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange. Hi, friends. Jess Lichter here with Key of LaGrange. We're going pink this month for breast cancer awareness, and we'll be donating a portion of our sales to the Breast Friends for Life Hope for a Day campaign. So stop by and check out our selection of Kias and help support a great cause. It's fall savings times with me the 16s. they got to go to make room for the 17s. You can own a 16 Kia Cadenza for as little as $23.5. And you know with prices like these are not going to last long. Come see us today or online at keyoflagrange.com to help support your local economy. Price plus tax tag and title. Stock number 19215. There's a secret to beating injuries or ailments. Get the right team. Emory Southern Orthopedics, well-trained, experienced doctors, nurses, and staff are that team. These teammates listen and understand your specific condition and provide high-quality hometown care that will get you back into your game. For more information about Emory Southern Orthopedics team, visit www.southernorthopedics.com. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, welcome back. We're live here at Lamar County High School. Andrew, I noticed coming into this to the town here in Barnesville, they've got <clears throat> they've got the Lamar County High School right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, next to it, they've got the Lamar County Middle School. Yeah. And then across the street, they have the Lamar County Elementary School. Yeah. And then they have a college, and I mean it is all within rock throwing distance, and I think I think that's really neat. Yeah, it makes uh, for a good little community. It does. I I like that. Yeah, it's a nice little setup. It kind of brings that the town together and makes you know all the athletics, you know the, all the teams are all all one. You know, the middle school, the high school, the college, and the whole town. It gives them like a centralized place to go. So it's a cool little setup for a Friday night football game. That's for sure. All right, looks like we've got about I don't know 18 minutes. Until we kick this thing off, uh, both teams have went back into their locker room, getting the last-minute preparations from the coaches, making the last-minute adjustments and, and things like that. Uh, Andrew, the, the Cavaliers have been playing really good football all year. Yeah. Uh, we started off with the scrimmage at Northside, and I feel like every game the Cavaliers have gotten better. Yeah, every game, you know, it, it, you see a huge improvement. You know, the LaGrange game, couldn't have started any better for us. You know, we got a lot of turnovers, able to get some points off those turnovers. And then next week we got punched in the mouth by Hanley. And our, sh- our team showed a fight, way to come back in that game. And like you said, just each week it's something else that we overcome as a team. And at some point we're going to put it all together. So it's uh, I love what I've seen so far from the coaching staff. Right. You mentioned uh, that Hanley team. Now that, that Hanley team beat a really good – Lynette high school team last week. Uh, yeah. Lynette, they they have a, a really good football program over there this year. Uh, they have a phenomenal quarterback, uh, and I know they've got one phenomenal receiver. Yeah. And, uh, you know, their their kids are playing hard also this year. And, and that, you know, that tells a little bit about Callaway for, for Callaway to be able to beat, beat a team like that and then Hanley go and beat a team like Lynette. Yeah, and it makes that Hanley win look better and better every time Hanley keeps winning too. You know, and, and Hanley's no slouch. You know, it's not a team that everyone is really, you know, familiar with, but that's a team that's proud, has tradition. They're, they're winners over there in Alabama. And I feel like that win really kind of set the tone for the season because we had the opportunity to pack it in, take our loss, you know, get get beat, get kicked in the butt and go home. But we fought and came back. Defense shut them out in the second half, and we were able to run away with that win. So, that really kind of set the tone for the season, and in each game, we just keep getting better and better and better as a team. Right. I, I think that's a perfect analogy uh, for Hanley. You you know, you said a lot of people might not know about them, but if you've watched them play right. uh, as we did, then you know how physical they are, <coughs> and, and that, you know, that's a really good football team. That's, that's the most physical football team we've played all season. 
I, uh, I hands down. <clears throat> and, and until tonight, you know, I, I feel like this, this Lamar County team is going to be extremely physical with us. All right, you mentioned uh, Callaway's 5-1 and one against Lamar. Last time they played them was uh, 2009. Yeah. Cavaliers won 44-0. to zero. Yeah. Uh, like you mentioned, do you think, you know, these high school kids are, have that in the back of their mind here in, in 2016? <clears throat> well, it happened almost two graduating classes ago. So it's, it's, it's kind of some time has passed to where, you know, you can kind of – you can't really use it as motivation – but as a coaching staff, you can say, hey, we haven't beat these guys in a long time. You know, because, you know, it's like I was, like you were saying, you know, Callaway since 2004 is 5 and 1 against Lamar County. And that one win by Lamar County was in 2004. Okay, so, Callaway, so it's been a long time since Lamar County has beaten Callaway in football. All right. Uh, the offense averaging 38 points a game this yeah. year, defense only allowing 14. Yeah, that's, that's, huh. that's super. I mean, that's a recipe for victory right there. I mean, coach, yeah. coach, uh, Hubbard doing outstanding with that defense, giving up two scores a game. You know, and, and normally when a team finds a hole in Coach Hubbard's defense, he shuts it down. I mean, he's great at making adjustments. And then Coach Napier's done what he always does, and he has score points. Man, that guy can that guy can call plays. I mean, he's got a there all kinds of different looks like we've talked about all season. We can line up in pro style. We can go spread. And we can go no huddle. I mean, whatever you want. So, you know, offenses are doing amazing things. Defense doing amazing things. And, uh, speaking of defense, though, the Lamar County defense on the other side of football, I mean, they're, yes, they're going to be pretty stingy tonight. I mean, they they give up only 16 points a game themselves. So, All right. And as far as the uh, region standings, yeah, uh, only Hur County and Temple have actually <coughs> played a region game so far. Right. Uh, Hur County, of course, decisively. <laughs> uh, Temple lost theirs. And then you've also got Callaway along with uh, Jordan, Lamar County, and Spencer. Right. Uh, and, you know, Heard County, who will will go play next week, you know, that should be a big game. We'll talk about that maybe after this one. Yeah. But uh, right now in the uh, Alabama or Georgia High School Association 2A poll, they've got the Cavaliers uh, ranked number four at 5-0, and uh, Jefferson County ahead of them at number three, Fitzgerald at number two, and uh, Benedictine is, uh, you know, up there at number, number one. one. Yeah, and Heard County's – uh, snuck into the top ten with that big win last week at number ten. So, you know, if we do our job this week and uh, Herd does theirs this week, you're looking at a potential top ten game next week with uh, Herd. So, but got to take care of business here first. All right. Well, we've got about 12 minutes, so we'll take a another full break. We'll come back and we'll touch on some of the players uh, for the Cavaliers. Uh, you know what we think they'll contribute tonight. This is Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. Synovus Bank is here, and here, well, it's here in LaGrange, Georgia. Here is where the food tastes better and the air breathes like home. Here is the place that gets better because every generation leaves it better than they found it. Here is where Synovus helps people turn their ideas into business realities because the bankers at Synovus understands what it means to be from here. Synovus, the bank of here, serving you locally as commercial bank and trust. Banking products provided by Division of Synovus Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, Andrew, looks like everybody's filing in. we got about 11 and a half minutes. Yep. Uh, let's touch on some of the uh, offensive uh, players and, and things we might see tonight for Callaway. Well, you know, usual suspects. You're going to have, you know, Dylan Johnson, Braylon Sanders. Those are going to be your two leaders at quarterback and uh, Braylon at wide receiver, respectively. And then uh, – DJ Atkins, man. I mean, that dude has over 800 yards rushing on the season. I mean, I, you know, <clears throat> unfortunately, I wasn't get to, get, get to witness it at Harris County. I heard he had a huge game, uh, real physical running, big runs in that game. And then the last game we did together, Upson Lee, he put the offense on his back in that game. So yeah, DJ actually got a little banged up the second half of that Harris County game, <clears throat> and uh, some of the younger backs came in and uh, and got and got some real meaningful snaps. I mean, to start that third quarter. 
Uh, we had we had a sophomore in there at tailback. Yeah. Uh, Telly, and hey, he he's he's a hard nosed runner. He's been running hard all year, so and, it doesn't shock. And me. he looks really good there. And that was one of the things I was talking about when you're. When your main guys, you know, <clears throat> they're not going to be able to do their thing every single week, you know. Yes, right. Real good teams are going to key on that, and they're going to take that away from you. Right. And younger guys have got to step up. And, you know, that was something that I said last week, that I, I've i seen teams from Coach Wiggins that were really, really good. Okay. And the younger people didn't step up, and it hurts oh. you down, you know, down the road in the playoffs. Yeah. But I think oh, that yeah. all around this is this is one of the best teams that Coach Wiggins has fielded. Yeah. Uh, and, and they're all playing together. They're playing for one another. And, yeah. you know, that's huge. <clears throat> yeah, and it's great to see, you know. It's like and – and you hit it perfectly. I mean, <clears throat> every one of these kids is buying in. Every single one of these kids is, is a contributor. Yeah. You know, it, it, we haven't seen a lot of two-way guys this season. I mean, you see a couple guys, you know, like a stud, like Michael Freeman, playing two ways, but you don't see a whole lot of two-way guys for yes, us because we're so deep as a football team. Uh, you know, I mean, how many times do you see Dominic Copeland on offense? I mean, that cat, can he can lock down anybody at his cornerback position, but over on the offensive side of the ball, you know, he well, we're on offense, he's allowed to have a rest. He's able to get coaching on the sideline and get ready for that next defensive series. Right. And I really think that's what's helping us this year. You mentioned Michael uh, Freeman, senior linebacker. Uh, man, he he's one of my favorite players to watch on this on this Cavalier defense. Yeah, uh, he flat out gets after it, and I think uh, I had him down for like nine, eight or nine solo tackles against Harris County the Jeez. other night. And when I, you know, when I say solo, I mean you know by himself solo. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he, he gets better every week, and, man, he plays so hard, and, and you can tell he really cares about this football team. He, he's around every play on defense, whether it's behind the line of scrimmage in the midfield or in the backfield. I mean, or in the defensive secondary, he is around the football. You know, and, and another guy, you know, Kobe. You know, he's always around the football, too. He's had a great season. You know, Dominic's had it. MJ Robertson's had a great season. So, I mean, so, so many guys that we can – you know, individually call out and say you've done a great job. This this whole team's done a great job this year. I, I you know everybody one you know the, everybody on this roster has done their job. Right. You mentioned uh, Dominique and MJ, uh, Lashawn Terrell, Keegan Woods. Yeah. Uh, you know I I've said all along this year that how MJ grows is kind of how this defense will grow. You yeah. know he's a freshman, he's in there at safety, and he has a ton of things to learn yeah he's got a ton of things to be responsible for and you know so far he's doing a wonderful job and as long as he can continue to get better and better and better every week uh you know that's that's going to be huge to be able to think that you could have that guy starting there at safety for four years I mean, yeah that's amazing he's done a great job and it doesn't hurt that your brother is a five-star army all-american playing wide receiver for the cal golden bears now either too i mean he's that family's got football in their blood and I mean, he's really stepped in as a freshman for us and, and has played like an upperclassman. You know, he has really made some plays for us this year. All right, well, we've got about seven and a half minutes till we kick this thing off. Let's take a full break. We'll come back. Andrew, we'll uh, discuss some of the uh, keys for victory for the Cavaliers, and that should lead us, lead us right up to kickoff. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Introducing the most valuable provider, your nationally ranked Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center. Ranked a top 100 large community hospital by Truven Health Analytics. Named a top 100 great community hospital by Becker's Hospital Review. Rated top 100 in medical excellence and patient safety by CareChex. Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, award-winning health care right here in LaGrange. To learn more, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. We believe in life well lived. When a football team ends up with 12 men on the field, it means somebody forgot to double check. And when you end up paying more for your car insurance than you need, it could also mean somebody forgot to double check. That's why State Farm will do a free discount double check by going through your policies to make sure you're getting all the discounts you deserve. Because those discounts mean big league savings. It pays to double check. Call your State Farm agent, Matt Orr, on the square in downtown LaGrange. There's a secret to beating injuries or ailments. Get the right team. Emory Southern Orthopedics well-trained, experienced doctors, nurses, and staff are that team. 
these teammates listen and understand your specific condition and provide high-quality hometown care that will get you back into your game. For more information about Emory Southern Orthopedics team, visit www.southernorthopedics.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football <laughs> online at eagle1023.com. All right, Andrew, back here live at Trojan Field, I guess is the name. Lamar County. Yeah. Tro yep. Trojan Field here in Barnesville, Georgia. Looks like everybody's filing in, getting their seats. Still, we don't have the football teams yet. Uh, that's going to be critical to uh, <coughs> to start this yeah, game we'll, off. We've we'll, got about five minutes. Uh, I love that every week you get us these uh, keys for a Callaway victory. And, you know, I've noticed that two or three of them stay the same every week. Yep. And I've noticed that Callaway's, you know, does those two or three things every week. Yep. Hold on to the football, man. Can't turn the football over. That's that's number one thing. If you can hold on to the football and not give the other team a chance to get a quick strike touchdown or, or start an offense possession deep in, in, in your territory, you're, you're going to have a good night. And then, you know, obviously you want to keep establishing line of scrimmage, keep dominating on defensive line, offensive line. I know we did a really good job of that last uh, two weeks ago at Harris County. And then, uh, you know, obviously, you know, be physical. You know, set the tone. You know, and that's one thing Coach Hubbard's defense has always do do so well, set the tone physically for the game. You know, swarm into the football, big hits, and offensively, you know, set the tone, come out in that power set, let, you know, Big Jabril Jackson, you know, lead for DJ and just blow someone over. So, and then last thing right here, <clears throat> first region game against a familiar foe, keep your emotions in check. We don't want any stupid penalties tonight. And I, I truly believe – that they will, and they've done a great job of that all year long. Uh, Coach Wiggins, you know, that, that's that's a straight testament of Coach Wiggins and his staff, uh, you know, teaching those guys, hey, the whistle blows, the play's over, you know, get back in your huddle, find the ball, whatever. Uh, you know, we're, we're not going to get involved in that because that's not going to do anything except hurt our football team. Right. You don't want to do any stupid penalties. You don't want to give the other team free yards. I mean, you see what stupid penalties you do. You know, last week a Georgia player runs off the field, gets a stupid 15-year-old penalty helmet. and taking his helmet off. What's that do? They got kicked off from their own 20, and that sets up for what we all know happened next. So, Yeah, I know. mean, I wasn't going to bring it up, man, you know, because I, I, I truly respect you about Georgia and everything. <laughs> and uh, these, these bags under my eyes are from many sleepless <laughs> nights seeing that over and over and over again. I know that you were sick, um, but I, I – well, I don't know if this will help, but I will say that – I've seen a, a, a Saban and Kirby coach defense do that before. Yeah. So maybe, maybe, I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know. Maybe in a situation it's just don't defend it. Just let them, you know, just maybe they'll be so shocked we don't defend it they'll throw it in the, in the stadium or something. But, uh, yeah, that was awful. But that also shows you, though, what happens when you don't play discipline football. You know, you cost your team field position. You cost your team, you know, having to kick off on their own 20, and that really hurt them in the long run. So be smart tonight, Callaway, like you've been. Don't make stupid penalties. Be physical. Establish line of scrimmage and hold on to that football. Absolutely. Well, here comes the football team. <clears throat> Teams, Andrew. We've got the uh, captains out there on the doing the coin flip right now, and we're getting set to kick this thing off. We've got about two minutes. Uh, real quick, I want to uh, say that my thoughts, prayers are with you know all the people up and down the coast that are being impacted by Hurricane Matthew. Yes. Uh, I've got you know a I got tons of family in Jacksonville, Florida, um, family and friends. And, you know, like I said, our, our thoughts and prayers are with those people <coughs> yes. as, you know, they they have, have some recovering to do the uh, next couple of days, weeks, and, and months to, to get over that impact. Absolutely. You know, thoughts and prayers to all those people going on over there. I mean, that, hurricanes are awful and all natural disasters are awful. And it's, you just hate to see anybody affected, especially people that you care about. So thoughts and prayers for those people. Good deal. All right, well, let's take uh, one last break, and when we come back, you're going to hear the Callaway Cavaliers take on the Lamar County Trojans here in Barnesville, Georgia, on this beautiful Friday night. This is Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. 
So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at Remax Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. And goal to go. In the game of football, it takes the skill and effort of a team to reach the goal line. At Commercial Bank and Trust, we know it takes the same kind of teamwork to help you reach your goals of financial security. That's why we offer a team of professionals who are dedicated to providing effective game-winning financial solutions. You'll get the expertise you need from the people you know and trust. Touchdown! Commercial Bank and Trust, a division of Sonovus Bank. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football online at Eagle1023.com. All right, welcome back live here. <coughs> Callaway Cavaliers getting set to kick it off against the Lamar County Trojans. First game, first region game of the year for the Cavaliers. Yep. And it looks like <coughs> Cal Callaway is going to kick this thing off. Tonight, Andrew, they've got your favorite uh, white jerseys on yeah. with the silver numbers. Ugh. But they got a twist to it this week. You got the red pants this time. Going with the red pants with the uh, white stripe with the black Callaway riding going down the leg. I'm, I'm okay with this. I mean, <clears> it's <throat> it's interesting look. But I'm, I'm okay with this. It's, I, the, 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 the jersey still hasn't grown on me yet, though. It, maybe, maybe it will by the uh, end of the season. Though. All right, and Lamar County. And the uh, the all blue with the white letters, yep, just like they always are. Solid blue, navy blue, white letters with red uh, red trim. All right, Noah Stevens in <clears> here <throat> to kick this thing off. Let's see, we got looks like Michael Freeman right there in the middle, uh, Quan Todd beside him. So we, we've got some guys that can make some big hits. And there's the kickoff, and that ball is going to be taken, fumbled, fumbled. Looks like his knee was down. Yeah. Looks like about <laughs> the 18 yard line. It look, I think he's wishing that he would have been down because Michael Freeman came down there and plowed him over around the 20-yard line. Yeah, it looked like he uh, – the way he was running, I, I kind of had a feeling he was going to drop the football, but it looked like he kneeled down to pick up the football after the initial fumble. So, great uh, starting field position for the Callaway defense to start the game. All right. Cavaliers set <clears throat> in their spot on defense. And then Lamar County is going to take over. Looks like they're going to mark the ball at the 19-yard line. Yeah. And Lamar County is going to come out. Andrew, like you mentioned, you know, they're going to spread out a lot like Houston, a lot like Auburn. And here's their senior quarterback right here. Or actually, that's not the senior quarterback. That's yes. number one. That's Malik Collier, number one. And he's going to hand off to number 17 around the right side. And he uh, he yeah. gets about 11 or 12 yards right there, Andrew. Yeah, Andrew O'Neill had a big game last week. Uh um, he had a good game last week and, uh, you know, uh, was able to, to run the football and do a good job doing that. So it looked like a little simple pistol set, ran off tackle to the right side and picked up 12 yards. But Cal, we just got to set the edge on defense. All right, looks like twins to the left right here, single receiver to the right. There's that shotgun snap again. Again, they handed go, much off better to number job. 17 right there on the left side. And <coughs> it looks like you've got about eight Cavaliers right there that yeah. uh, met him behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, yeah, good job. I, I think he may have got enough yardage to pick up the first down. We'll see. It's close. I think he might have got it. He ran to the, you know, Lamar County is going uh, right to left. And they, on the near side. I think that, yeah, they <coughs> picked it up. Picked up first down, Lamar County. Right. So the right. initial first play looked like it gained a lot more than it really actually did. I guess they may have gone out of bounds. It was hard to see from, from this side of the field. What are we going back for? It's like they're saying uh, third down right here. It's going to be third. Oh. It's got to be like an inch right the here. Third and a sheet of paper. And, I mean, this this is one of those times, you know, wouldn't you rather bring your quarterback in and go under center right here? Yeah, this is, this is in my opinion, where – you know, being in the shotgun can hurt you, you know, in short yard situations. Again, out of the shotgun, hmm. they're going to change. They're going to put a wing out to the right side so right here. So, a power run to the right side. All right, there's a snap. There's a handoff. Yeah, and, and we stopped him in the, in the backfield. backfield. Fourth down. That's Great about job. a yard and a half loss right there. And it's, it's like what we were talking about, man. You take the shotgun snap five yards deep. Your tailback's three or four yards behind him. I mean, you're, you're trying to gain an inch but you're starting seven, eight yards behind the line of scrimmage. You know, that's one reason I don't like the the spread offense exclusively. It's It's got its its moments, but it's still 
those short yardage situations, it can really hurt you. That was big Jamie Sellers right there, number 54. Yeah, great. He's having a great season so far. All right, so Lamar County is going to punt on the punt for them is number 10 right here. Dawson Davis handles, uh, looks like he's going to handle most of their kicking duties tonight. Right, and they got the always dangerous Braylon Sanders deep for the Cavaliers. All right, Davis gets the snap at about the 18. Almost boots it blocked away. it. Line drive, bounces down around the 40. Braylon picks it up, gets out to the left oh, side, man, looking for the sideline, and gets out of bounds <coughs> around the 45-yard line, and the my, Callaway 45-yard line. Yeah, nice return. He has – he's he, – Teams have done a good job this year punting away from him. He's done, you know, that's one of his better returns this season. I mean, he's just had no room to, you know, we've either blocked a kick, they've had a bad snap or shanked one, or they just don't kick it to him. So good return by Braylon, good starting field position on our own 49-yard uh, line. And, you know, in high school it means so much if, if you just get a guy back there that can just catch it and not yeah. let that thing bounce because, yes. you know, every yard is, is so valuable. Yeah, and, and, and being able to hold on to the football and not turn it over. All right, here's Dylan from under center out of that eye formation. He's going to hand it off to DJ. DJ's going to go that. right up the middle. Got Just kind of filling them out right there. Yeah, and that's one thing I was going to talk about in the pregame uh, is Lamar County's – one thing on film that really stood out to me was their defensive front seven. So they really – last week they were able to get after the quarterback, had two or three sacks and uh, some forced front, uh, fumbles. So stout defensive front seven for Lamar County. All right, Cavaliers – out of the huddle, second down now, and about 11 at the 48-yard line. Again, Dylan <clears> under center. <throat> Braylon split out down here to the right. There's a pitch to DJ across the left side. He's uh, looking for some room. Ooh, Not sure. He, he came down kind of awkwardly right there, yeah. but he bounces back up. I almost thought he had a face mask, but I guess I guess he got pulled down a different way. So it's like another negative play. They're going to bring up about a third down and 12, maybe third down and 11 right here. Yeah, and like you said, it looks like we're kind of just feeling out Lamar County, kind of seeing what they're, what they've prepared for. Because you know, like like we've talked about before, man, they we can line up in so many different formations. Like right now, we're back in the shotgun, three wide. So so many different ways we can hurt you. All right, here's that shotgun look you mentioned. DJ to the right. They're going to fake the handoff. Dylan's going to roll to his right. He's looking to throw. And he gets it away down the field. Oh, he's and got he's it. And he's got Braylon. Touchdown. Braylon just out jumped number ah. two right there. No flags. For the uh, Trojans. And that was uh, Colin Thompson. Man. The defensive back. All and you've got to do is throw it in his general vicinity. He's like Randy Moss, man. He's going to pull it down every time. A great job of concentrating right there by uh, Braylon and going up high point in the ball with that defender just right in front of him. Can you believe the athletes we've had at wide receiver? I mean, we, we've had Terry Godwin and Braylon Sanders on the same team before. I mean, good grief, the, the spoils that uh, Coach Wiggins has to work with. All right, there's a snap. There's a no Stevens kick. It's up. It's good. So with 8.49 to go here in the first quarter, Cavaliers strike first on a beautiful, well-designed play, well-thrown <coughs> ball from Dillon. About 30, 38 yards down the field to uh, to Braylon right across the middle. Yeah, great play, play action fake, was able to roll out. And we, he's done it all season, sets his feet, puts up a ball, and his, uh, lets his uh, talented wide receiver go make a play. All right, so Cavs on top, 7 nothing. Let's take a quick break. This is Callaway Cavalier Football <coughs> on the Eagle Sports Network. Hey, man, my car just broke down. I need to call a towing company. Well, then you should probably call a towing company. I know, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I need to call a towing company. Right, a towing company. You should call a towing company. Ah, oh, man, come on. I'm trying to tell you which company should I call. Oh, call a towing company. Oh, call a towing company. A towing company. 706-882-8399. A towing company. 706-882-8399. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, there's a Noah Stevens kickoff. Callaway saying they got it. I know <coughs> Michael Freeman came in and uh, hit the return man around the 23-yard line. They're digging him out of the pile. Let's see what we got here, Andrew. Maybe we fell on it. We've been – All right, Lamar County oh, ball. They held on to it. Man, that's, that's two uh, straight shaky kickoffs that Lamar County's had, Shane. Yeah, uh, Noah really – Line drive that ball, not a lot of air on that one. It got no. down around the uh, six or the five-yard line, but it got down there in a hurry. Yeah, and normally he does a good job of leaving that ball up in the air and allowing his return uh, team to get there, the pursuit team to get there. But, uh, man, like I said, two straight shaky kickoffs for Lamar County on the return specialist. 
All right, maybe the next one, Cavs can, can get a turnover. So Cavalier defense back out, 8.40 to go here in the first quarter. Cavs on top, 7-0. to Again, Lamar County comes out in that spread shotgun look right here. And like you mentioned, they got that uh, wing. They're going to go power run to the left now, it looks like. Yeah, anytime they shift that tight end, it tends to be where they're running, too. All right, there's a snap, and there's a give just right up the Counter. middle, and there's nothing there. There we go. And that's just great penetration by the front four right there. Yeah. And I, I don't think that they're doing anything special. I don't see any A-gap blitzes or anything like that. No, it's just what how we've played all year, and it's hard to keep getting super excited because we're starting to expect this out of this group, you know, playing physical at the line of scrimmage, establishing that line of scrimmage like we talked about for pregame keys. So a great start after the initial first two plays of the game. Great, great uh, – Recovery by the Callaway defense. All right, there's a snap to First Malik Collier on second Roll down. Out. He rolls to his left. He's looking for a man. He's got a man behind the defense, but he's just going to throw it out of bounds. Yeah, he had a man for a second, but I think he was overall covered pretty well. All right, so that's going to bring up third down and about 10 right here. So another chance right here for the Cavalier defense to get off the field, Andrew. <clears throat> yeah, they've done a great job tonight so far in the five plays they've had of, of forcing, you know, kind of dictating this game to Lamar County. So but uh, Lamar County seems to also kind of be telegraphing their plays before they even start. All right, this right here is a different look. Think almost got like a diamond set back there. There's a shotgun snap. He's going to fake the give. And reverse back to his right. He's we stayed at home. Room. We stayed at home. Great job. Who is that right there? Is that number? Is that Dominique right there? I think it was Dominique Copeland on the tackle. That was number six, Dominique yeah. Copeland. Great yeah. job right there, like you mentioned, staying at home. Yeah, what they did is they had a diamond set. So basically you had a, a shotgun with a quarterback, and you had a two running backs side by side next to him, and then you had a running back behind him. Almost set up like what Columbus did. Ran a little option look. Quarterback spins around to go backside to throw to the tight end, and we, we did a great job of staying at home, staying on that tight end and forcing the quarterback to really run the ball and had nowhere to go. So, All great right, job. Davis back in the punt. Braylon back deep, standing around the 38-yard uh, line. Lamar's doing a lot of shifts, a lot yeah. of movement. All right, there's a snap. Not a really good punt. It's going to bounce around get the away 48. From it. Get away from it. And that's about where it's Same going to stay. Place. Look like one of my golf shots there. Man. Stuck down on the 48-yard line. What club are you using? <laughs> Golly, if I could get mine to do that, I'd be in the PGA Tour right now. Jeez. All right, Cavalier offense back out with a 7 nothing lead. Seven minutes to go. Uh, pretty much same situation as the first possession for Lamar County. Yeah. And I look for us to kind of maybe try to, to spread them out a little bit too. You know, they've had success defending <coughs> us under center, but – <clears throat> we need to give our offensive line a chance to establish itself. All right, there's a give to DJ off the left side. He there we finds go. a room, gets about six, maybe seven, eight yards right there. Yeah. That, that looked really good right there. He just yeah. kind of fell in behind Jabril. Yeah, that's all you got to do is follow Jabril. So wherever Jabril goes, that's where you need to go because he's going to pave the way for you. Jabril's done a – he's been the unsung hero of the offense, in my opinion, man. He has uh, – every time his number is called, he does something productive. All right, second down and one. Again, Dylan under center takes a snap, gives to DJ right up the middle. He stuffed at the line. <coughs> Nothing there that time. Yeah, and it looks like no, maybe maybe gained a yard, may have gained nothing, so it brings about a third and one. So lots of options still, though, for the offense to gain one yard. So, you know, offense like us, there's so many different things we can do. Yeah, I look for uh, – I wouldn't be shocked if we did a sweep here. I look – for big Jabril Jackson to get a get a handoff right here and, and see if we can't loosen up the middle of that defense. Well, if he does that against Lamar County, I mean, because this is where the legend of Therius Tigner was born. Lamar That's County, right. Yep. That's right. All right, again, Dylan under center on third and one. There's a snap. He's going to fake. Oh, he's action. got him. He rolls out of one man. And he's got a first he's going to keep it. He gets away from another man. Got the first Jeez. down. Into Lamar County territory <coughs> around the 37-yard line, 36-yard line, Andrew. Good I, job. I, I uh, made a bad mistake as a broadcaster. You know, as a former wide receiver, I watched the wide receiver break free downfield, <laughs> and I, I was like, oh, Dylan's got him, and I didn't see the guy in the backfield about. Great job by Dylan to use his athleticism to spin off that, that uh, free rusher and able to pick up the first down with his legs. Right. Lamar County, uh, you know, had had a cornerback blitz right there off of the left side and, and just one of those things where Dylan, just being athletic, made a play, got the first down. 
Move the chains, first and 10 now from 36. Dylan drops back, hands it to DJ off the left side. There we go. He, he yep. gets around. One, go. guy, one guy had him tackled, and now DJ breaks loose, comes back across the field to about the 28-yard line. Yeah, good run by DJ. Doing what he does, man. When you, you get him in open field and he starts dancing, he's so slippery, so hard to bring down. So good. You know, original play was supposed to go to the left side, a little power play to the left, but he was able to cut back and uh, gain substantial yardage. So great job, great job by DJ Atkins. All right, I see we've got uh, – We've got MJ in there right now. Yeah, he's We've got Courtney Williams in there right now. <coughs> he's been playing some wide out. MJ has. He's been, yeah, there he is in the slot. So, and then number twenty-two up there at the top. That's Khalid Swift. So second down and about three right here. Dylan takes the ball, hands it to DJ. DJ looking for a hole. He's going to be close right yeah, there. Yeah, he's Andrew. close. He might, I think it's going to bring up a third and one. I think he's got it. First down, Cavaliers. They gave it to him. See if they give it to him. All right, they're going to measure this one. Yeah. He's While close. they do that, we'll take a quick break, real quick. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Tara, are you okay? Yes, I can't believe you found me. I have car trouble, and there you are. Yeah, that's State Farm's 24 7 access. It's like we have this mental telepathy, you know? Well, you did start filing your claim with your mobile device. You can access State Farm on your phone, online, even in person at one of the 18,000 neighborhoods. State, State Farm on. See mental telepathy. State Farm is there for you anytime, anywhere. Get to a better state. State Farm. Connect telepathically with Agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football online at Eagle1023.com. All right, guys, back here live. 424 to go here in the first quarter. And it was a first down, first and ten Cavaliers deep inside of Lamar County territory. Around yeah. the 27-yard line, Dylan under center takes a snap. Gets There's it to Jabril. Big Jabril right there, and he drags one or two guys for about oh. five yards. I love it. I love it. Number 10 on the fullback dive, baby, especially against Lamar County. You know, big run by Jabril, about a four-yard run, brings up second and six. You know, Callaway's offense is done, you know, <laughs> it's so casual out there, man. Just go out there and do what they do. Coach Napier does such a good job with these guys. And like you mentioned, a lot. A lot to work with, a lot of weapons. And it seems like the uh, the more games these guys get under their belts, the better they get. <laughs> yeah. You know, every, every game they keep getting better. And here's a different little look that we haven't seen before. All right, second six right here. There's a snap. They sent a jet guy in jet motion. And it looks like DJ gets around the outside. Yeah, picked up three or four. Going to bring up a third <coughs> short right here. Looks Inside like, the 20-yard line. It looks like we had a, a, a split set under center and that, that – that uh, that Z wide receiver that was off the line of scrimmage, he was right next to the formation. It almost looked like we might have faked a reverse to get a guy out of the box to help us run the football a little bit better. So, All right, 326 to go here in the first quarter. Cavs on top, 7-0, to zero, threatening right here. Yeah, late in this we're quarter. definitely in field goal range too. All right, again, Dylan under center, and there's the eye look. With DJ and Jabril, he's that just toss. gonna toss it to the right, and oh man, DJ ran into somebody then, and he is stuffed. <coughs> yeah. Looks like it's gonna bring up about a fourth down and one right here. Let's see what Coach Wiggins. Yeah, wants so to I do. wouldn't be shocked if he kicked it, but then again, I wouldn't be shocked if we try to go for it here and jump on him early. Let's see what we're gonna roll with here. Looks like looks like they're gonna they're gonna go right here, fourth down and one. I like it. I like the call right here. Under three minutes to go here in the first quarter. I mean, we've had the ball almost the entire first quarter. Controlled the game up to this point. Uh, I love the call right here. I love the aggressiveness. And there's a new uh, look for us, too, a diamond backfield under center. All right. Michael Freeman and Jabril Jackson leading away right here. There's a give to DJ. There we DJ go. DJ finds a big hole. And, you know, you'd have to find a hole behind Michael Freeman right. and uh, Jabril Jackson right there. Right. It, it, it looked like an old uh, inverted wishbone right there. Shane was able to get two lead blockers in that hole and sprung a huge hole for DJ Atkins. So first and uh, looks like first and goal for Callaway. It looks like first and goal right here. There's a snap. There's the same, same play. play right up the middle to DJ. It looks like DJ's cut. He, he kind of cut that thing back to the middle of the field right there. Yeah. You know, and there's some games, you know, with DJ, you know, he'll start out so hot. And there's just some games where it's on like, it's almost like he – 
he wants to bounce outside and not follow his blockers. And that's where, you know, I know Coach Neighbors will, will – you know, coach him up and say, hey, man, trust the play. Trust the play. Let it let it develop. And you know these guys are just excited to be hitting somebody mm-hmm. else. It's been first two weeks. First region game. First it's been region two game. weeks since they got to, to hit somebody that wasn't wearing a Callaway helmet. Absolutely. But they've really come out, and, and I've been impressed so far with what I've seen from us, the way we've come out after this bye week. All right, Callaway, Coach Williams. Looks like they're going to take a timeout right here. Yeah, t- yeah, All t- right. Well, we'll t- take a timeout with them. Looks like we've got about a minute and 48 seconds to go here in the first quarter. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Hi, friends. Jess Lichter here with Key of LaGrange. We're going pink this month for breast cancer awareness, and we'll be donating a portion of our sales to the Breast Friends for Life Hope for a Day campaign. So stop by and check out our selection of Kias and help support a great cause. It's fall savings times, which means the 16s, they got to go to make room for the 17s. You can own a 16 Kia Cadenza for as little as $23.5. And you know with prices like these are not going to last long. Come see us today or online at keyoflagrange.com to help support your local economy. Price plus tax tag and title. Start number 19215. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, Andrew, back here live in Barnesville, Georgia, Callaway Cavaliers' first region game of the 2016 season. Yep. Uh, 5-0 coming in. Uh, you know, they've been looking really good all year long. Uh, up 7 to nothing with this one hit still yeah. in the first first quarter. Yeah, and a big call by Coach Wiggins two plays ago to go for a fourth and one and really just – you know, trusting that line, establishing that line of scrimmage, letting the guys be physical. It was a physical first down run, and now we're at second, you know, second and goal on the seven yard line. So, looking to drive in and go up by two touchdowns. All right, Callaway breaks the huddle. <clears throat> Actually, Dylan calls them back. Now they break. Looks okay. like Braylon's going to go down here to the bottom. I wouldn't be shocked if we maybe tried a little fade route to him. He's got a lot of room. coverage. A lot of room over there. All right, there's a snap. Dylan drops back, rolls to his left. He's looking to throw, oh, and his he's old tripped man. up. His and he's going to lose about three yards right there back behind the 10-yard <laughs> line. Looks like he was setting up to run off that bootleg, and he had a wide-open path to the end zone, but his own guy got blocked and tripped him up. So that was unfortunate, but uh, I like the play call there. Good play design by Matt Napier. All right, brings up third and 12 now. Dylan runs over there, gets a play from Coach Napier, runs back out to the huddle. Well. Can't, Ball on about the 11 yard line. Can't get a first down here, so you got to. I'd, I'd almost spread him out a little bit and try to. There we go. Going to spread him out, see if we can find somebody open, maybe a seam route or something over the middle. All right, Dylan out of the shotgun. There's a snap. He fumbles the ball, picks it up, takes off running, and he gets back to about the original line right there. Yeah. Maybe plus two yards down around the seven yard line. Heads up play by Dylan, be able to, to pick that football up, get some positive yardage, and, and, and there we go right here. Go ahead and kick that field goal, take the three, and see if we can go up 10 nothing. All right, Keegan Woods in to do the snapping, Dylan a hold, and Noah Stevens to kick. There's a snap, the hold, the kick, it's up. Looks like it's good. And yep. it's good. 25-yard field goal. 25-yarder there for Noah Stevens, so Cavaliers – more points on offense, 10 to nothing. Yep. Still 31 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Yep. So we'll take a break. Cavs on top. This is Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. Introducing the most valuable provider, your nationally ranked Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center. Ranked a top 100 large community hospital by Truven Health Analytics. Named a top 100 great community hospital by Becker's Hospital Review. Rated top 100 in medical excellence and patient safety by CareChecks. Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, award-winning health care right here in LaGrange. To learn more, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. We believe in life well-lived. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. You're listening to Eagle Sports, WLAG 1240 AM LaGrange and W245AW 96.9 FM LaGrange. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football online at Eagle1023.com. 
Andrew, another great job right there by the Cavaliers special teams, yep. uh, kickoff team, you know, shrinking the field towards the middle right there, everybody closing their lanes down. Uh, looks like they stopped the guy inside the 10-yard line, yeah. maybe around the seven. <clears throat> Yeah, great job. Once again, you know, doing it all, doing it all phases, offense, defense, and special teams. All right, there's a shotgun snap. He's going to hand it great off to his job. tailback, looking over great the left pursuit. side, and here comes Keegan Woods. Great pursuit. Man, child. Yeah, man. Setting the edge right there, shed his blocker, and was able to get the back running back in the backfield for about a two-and-a-half-yard loss. All right, that's going to bring up about a second down and 12 right here. Ball on the five-yard line now. And if you notice, Callaway's not even – looks like they were not even respecting the pass either. we got a single high safety, and, you know, Lamar County hasn't really shown any ability to get the ball downfield. So, a lot of guys in the box for Callaway's defense. All right, so things looking good so far. After one quarter, Cavs on top 10-0. to This is Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. State Farm, this is Gwen. Salutations, Gwen. I have car insurance, but I want to protect the rest of the stuff in my apartment. Some of my action figures were ruined recently. We can add a renter's policy. For the cost of one action figure, we can protect your entire army of action figures against fire, theft, burst pipes. Great. You have no idea how hard it is untangling wet alien hair. Add renter's insurance to your auto policy and get to a better state. State Farm. For a money-saving way to protect your possessions, call agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football online at Eagle1023.com. All right, Andrew, back here at Lamar County. Cavs on top, 10-0, to getting set to start the second quarter. And uh, you mentioned in the keys to victory, Andrew, be physical, set the tone on defense, uh, establish a line of scrimmage. And Callaway obviously doing a great job of both of those things so far. Yeah, they've done a great job, man. They, they've really run the football well. They've protected Dylan. And uh, the defensive line has done an, an amazing job of setting the edge and following all those runs back into the middle. All right, well, here's a second and 13. And Malik out of the shotgun right here takes a snap, gives it to his tailback. Once again. And there's nothing there. Nothing. He gets back to the original line, maybe got a yard, <laughs> going to bring up third down and nine yeah. deep inside of Lamar County territory. Right, and, and, and we're not seeing a whole lot of imagination from the Lamar County offense. I mean, they're, they're running that same play over and over and over again and, and you know I don't know if they're setting something up or setting a play action or setting you know something up later in the game but Callaway doesn't need to fall asleep in that defensive secondary all right so here we go right here third down it looks like seven yeah I knew they're a different look from them a uh, four wide set there's a shotgun snap Malik drops straight back and LaShawn put some pressure there on there we go Sack. and uh, who was that right F there cleaning them up there might be a fumble did he fumble that ball Nah, he held on to and it. And that looked like number 54 right there. That's Sellers. Yeah. <laughs> Again, man, Sellers, man, he's had a great season. Him and him and Woods on that defensive line, Michael Freeman. I mean, you can't say enough about this defense. And they, they, they do everything just like you like you ask him, just like you coach yeah. him up to do. Uh, LaShawn, you know, goes in there, misses the tackle, but turns the, the quarterback back inside. Yeah, that's and, what you uh, want. Jamie Sellers right there to uh, – Great so, job by LaShawn for setting the edge and forcing that play back inside. So here's Braylon inside Lamar territory. That's a short nice kick. High. He's going to fair catch it Smart around play. the 37-yard line. Cavalier <laughs> offense will set up shop. Be first and 10 inside Lamar County yeah. territory. Man, we have spent this whole game on their 50-yard liner in. So – Great. You keep doing it. Defense is, is forcing bad field position. They're not punting the ball very well, and our offense is cashing in on a great field position. All right, 10.37 to go here in the second quarter. Cavs on top, 10-0. To and here comes Dylan to the line, under center. Jabril Jackson at fullback, DJ at tailback. There's a snap. He's going to fake, Play roll action. it around. Oh, he's got a man. Left, and he's got Braylon down the – Oh, man, just out of – I call of it the, too soon. Just out of the reach of Braylon. <laughs> We've run that play a lot this year. That's the uh, – it's a play action of the eye set where uh, Braylon fakes and out and goes up. And, uh, man, nine times out of ten he is open for a touchdown. I mean, he was open there. It was just a little overthrown, so. All right. That was another well-designed play yeah, right there for well the Yeah, well-designed. Just got to put a little bit more touch on that pass. All right, second down and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. Again, same formation. 
All right, there's a snap. There's a give to DJ right up the middle. DJ gets about three, maybe four yards right there, Andrew. Yeah, hard running right there. And like we said, Lamar County's defensive front seven is, is really good. They really st uh, jumped out to me on tape from the two games I've watched of them the past two weeks with Marion County and uh, Morgan County. All right, going to bring up third and long right here. Looks like about third and eight. Shoot, I'd run, that, I'd run that play again that we ran first. All right, dealing into the huddle. Cavs break with about 9.57 to go here before yeah. halftime. Looks like we got a trip set to the left out of the shotgun. So, All right, Dylan from the shotgun takes a snap, fakes the give to DJ underneath, rolls to his left, looking to throw. Now he's going to tuck it and run it. Gets by two Think guys the first back down. across the middle of the field. He's got Gets it. the first, first down. down. Down to around the 20-yard <laughs> line, so another good athletic play right there by Dylan. Yeah, and, and Coach Dapier did a great job. Of he, uh, we had trips out of the shotgun to the left side, and Dylan being left-handed could roll out to his left. You know, had a little flood pattern. No one was there and was able to cut back and pick up huge yards for a first down. So that's what a dual-threat quarterback will do for you right there. Man, Dylan, he just gets better and better every week running that football. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a cool customer in that huddle, and he does a great job of being a leader for that offense. All right, first and 10 now, ball on about the 21-yard line out of the shotgun. There's a snap, fakes a give, quick pass out to Braylon. Braylon gets around one guy around the 15, down to about the 10-yard line. God, he's such an athlete. Great move, great move on the outside, around a little bubble screen. And, I mean, you got to like your chances one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, get your athlete the ball in space. Get him the ball in space, and we saw what happens when you get the guy the ball in space. So, great job by Braylon, and a great throw by Dylan Johnson. And that's enough for a first down. Again, ball right there on the 10-yard line. Looks like it's going to be first and goal right here. Again, out of the shotgun, DJ Sanchez right. There's a hand there. There's a give off to DJ right up the play. middle. Touchdown. And he just lowers his head, and he runs through that yep. Lamar County defense for a Cavalier touchdown. Yeah, great play call right there. It's that little uh, zone zone uh, read play where we give it to, you know, ride DJ. And uh, he gives it to him right when the blocking set up, and he was able to walk in the end zone. So great job by Coach Napier and a touchdown Callaway. Now, is on that play, that particular play right there, is Dylan reading something right there? Or well, is what, that he's just do, what he's doing is a delayed handoff. Okay. Okay. Dylan's not going to keep it, but what he's doing is he's keeping those defensive ends at home. He's wanting to, to ride DJ, and then right at the last second he gives it to him, and, he, and the blocking is just set up for him to walk in the end zone. So, All right, the Noah Stevens extra point was good. Good snap by Keegan, good hold by Dylan. And Cavs on top, 17 to zero, nine minutes to go here before halftime. This is Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So to take a step in the right direction, contact Joel or Rob of Church at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, welcome back live. There's the Noah Stevens kick, and there's a great kick right there into the end zone, Andrew, for a touchback. That's what we want to see right there. Yeah, man. Great job kicking tonight by Noah. He's he's done great all season. We're not we're not a, uh, you know, it's, it's something we're familiar to, uh, with seeing with him. He's done a great job with field goals, kickoffs, uh, kickoff placement. You know, really executing that game plan for the special teams. All right, so here comes the Lamar County offense with uh, 9:06 to go here before halftime. Cavaliers on top, 17 to zero. Uh, Cavs have gotten points on. The first three possessions tonight. Yeah, and they've done, and here's a little different wrinkle from uh, Lamar County right here with a trip set to the right. All right. There's the shotgun snap. There's a give right up the middle. Yeah. And he's met hard right there, and that looks like number three, our man there, Michael Freeman. And, and, and we're not getting him in the backfield because we have more men up there. I think we're just whipping the blocks up front, you know, because what, when, uh, when a team spreads you out three or four wide like that, they're trying to get guys out of the box. Yeah, I mean, the that's your linebacker right, right there, two yards behind the line of scrimmage. But the, the problem isn't the – the numbers, it's the fact that Lamar County's not winning their one-on-one -on -one battles. All right, there's a snap on second down. Quarterback's just going to keep it and, and try to run. He's not going to get anything. He's going to lose about two yards right there, Andrew. Yeah, it'll bring up about a third and 14 right here, maybe a third and 13. 
So it looked like they tried to let the pass rush get around him, but you know, like we talked about, our linebackers do such a good job of staying at home and being able to uh, tackle in open space one-on-one, -on -one, like win your one-on-one -on -one battles, and we're doing a great job of that right now. All right, third down and 14. Ball sitting, I don't know, about the 16-yard line right here, so another chance for the Cavalier defense to get off the field. Looks like we're sitting in a cover zero, no safety deep. All right, there's a shotgun snap. Quarterback drops straight back, looking across the middle. He's going to throw a bullet across the middle, and he overthrows his receiver. He was yep. looking for number three right there, and that looked like Connor Jett. Yeah, short little guy right there, and it looked like Kobe was on him. I can't – I can't. those numbers drive me nuts on our jerseys. I can't see him. Yeah, I think that was number five right there. If it was, that was Courtney Williams. But I don't know. It's hard. Those five, six, and eights look – really the same from up here on these particular jerseys. It looked like the Oakland Raiders. All right, Braylon's standing around the 50-yard line, and here's the punt by Davis. Another short, short one. Punt, Everyone get away really from this one. Really short punt. Bounces at about the 30-yard line. Oh, my goodness. Bounces backwards to the 29, so the Cavalier offense is going to take over again inside Lamar County territory. Does this not remind you of that LaGrange game to start of the year? You know, LaGrange, you know, our defense did a good job of stopping them on, on, on defensively, and then the LaGrange special teams did their their defense no favors by having all these short punts and letting us have short uh, fields to, to start our offensive possessions with. All right, 7.46 to go. Dylan on the <coughs> center right here, first and 10, ball at about the 29-yard line. Twin look to the left. There's a snap. There's a give to DJ right up the middle. Oh, he gets man. around touchdown. everybody, and he is wow. gone. Cavalier touchdown. <laughs> DJ Atkins with about a 30-yard oh, scamper geez. around the right end. You know, we ran a misdirection to the left. It looked like everything was going left side, and, uh, it, and then uh, DJ ran a counter to the right. No one stayed at home. Untouched to the end zone. We've seen it all year long. DJ Atkins for six. Callaway up 23-0, pending the extra point. All right, Noah in the kick, the extra point. Dylan the hold, Keegan the snap. There's the snap, the hold, the kick. It's up, it's good. Cavs on top, 24 to zero. We still got seven and a half minutes before halftime. This is Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. Introducing the most valuable provider, your nationally ranked Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center. Ranked a top 100 <coughs> large community hospital by Truven Health Analytics. Named a top 100 great community hospital by Becker's Hospital Review. Rated top 100 in medical excellence and patient safety by CareChecks. Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, award-winning health care right here in LaGrange. To learn more, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. We believe in life well-lived. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, Andrew, Noah Stevens on to uh, kick off right here. Cavalier special teams doing a phenomenal job so far tonight. Let's hope that continues. There's a kick. He Another got into that kick. one again, too, and, and it bounces go. into the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, and that's probably smart from Lamar County. You know, just let those go back in there, and, and you might have better field position to come out to the 20 because every time they field the kick, something bad happens. All right, going to be first and 10 around the 20 on the 20 yard line for Lamar County. 7:38 to go, Andrew, before halftime. And, and I've, these are rough numbers, but I don't think Lamar County has gained. They have gone four three and outs. Our defense is forced no first downs, and they have about 16 yards of offense in the first half. Those are rough numbers. I may be off, but that's just what I'm seeing from up here. That's probably with the kick return yards. <laughs> All right, twin, twin, look. Again, Malik out of the shotgun right here. There's a snap. He rolls to his right looking for a man. No one. there. And, I mean, the Cavalier defense just swarming to the football right now. May have gained one. Again, that was Michael yeah. Freeman on the tackle. Yeah, two yard gain, and that's a that's a pretty liberal uh, assessment of that play right there. I mean, that's a uh, mild, moderate two yard gain right there. Callaway's defensive front seven is just taking this game over. And I mean, the thing is, they're doing it with like four. No, yeah, they're not bringing pressure. They're just doing it with their guys that are lined up. All right, there's a snap. Draw spot looking for the and screen we read the, right here, and he's got it. He's we got read a the bubble room screen. right there. But they gained some good yards on that play. 
It's going to bring up a third and about one yard right here, Andrew. Third and one. Lots of options right here, but we had a third and one earlier in the game, too, and we were able to blow it up in the backfield as well. So look for Lamar County to get creative. <coughs> All right, 6.53 to go. Cavs on top, 24 to zero here at Lamar County High School, home of the Trojans. First region game of the year for the Cavaliers, and so far so good, Andrew. Yep, so far so good, and really jumping out on these guys early, kind of like we did with Upson Lee. A couple All right, here's ago. that trips look to the left this time. There's a shotgun snap. They're going to try to get it right up no, the middle. No, sir. And it's blowed up no, in the sir. backfield. Four or five Cavaliers right there. No. To bring down the tailback right there, and that looked like number 21 for uh, – for Lamar County, I don't have his number, Andrew. Uh, number 21 for Lamar. I don't have it either. That He must be a, a youngster. All right. So that's going to bring up. Okay, it looks like. They gained it. They gave him a first down. All right. Wow. Okay, on the passing play, they, they, okay, so they got a first down finally. Again, there's that little bubble screen. And we're there. Receiver. Nothing. It's like he lost about a yard right there. I'm not sure what happened on that. It First looks position. like they gave him a generous spot on that bubble screen about three plays ago, and we just. All right, either way, they're calling third down and 12 right here. So here's a chance for to get the Cavalier offense back out on the field. Yeah, third and long again. If I'm Callaway, I'm just having my four guys rush up field, keep that quarterback in the pocket, and play good pass coverage. Right. They like the seams There's right here. Snap to Malik. He's looking across the middle. He's got to tuck it and run. There we go. He's got good job. A good room job. Right there, and he's finally pushed out of bounds around the 35, 36 yard line. Going to be about three or four <coughs> yards short. And what a disciplined uh, series right there for the Callaway defense. You know, third and long, you got a, a guy back that you know is going to scramble, and you just you, you don't over pursue because that's where guys like that are dangerous. You know, Malik can uh, you know over pursue and he's gone for a 90 yard touchdown. So we're doing a great job of breaking down, containing him with the front seven and. Uh, Man, there's just nowhere for Lamar County to go in this first half. All right, on fourth and looks like four and a half right here. Lamar County going to punt. Yeah, it looks like they're going to take a timeout. Okay, Callaway Cavalier timeout right yep, there. Yep, Callaway. All right, we'll take one with them. 529 to go before halftime. Cavs on top, 24 to zero. This is Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. When a football team ends up with 12 men on the field, it means somebody forgot to double check. And when you end up paying more for your car insurance than you need, it could also mean somebody forgot to double check. That's why State Farm will do a free discount double check by going through your policies to make sure you're getting all the discounts you deserve. Because those discounts mean big league savings. It pays to double check. Call your State Farm agent, Matt Orr, on the square in downtown LaGrange. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, Andrew, back here live. Lamar County set to punt this thing away. Fourth and five. Ball inside of Lamar County territory spotted around the 36-yard <coughs> line. Yeah. Looks like Braylon's going to drop back to about his 30-yard line. It looks like we're not taking any chances right here. And there's a snap. There's a kick. There's Good a better line punt. drive kick right there. Braylon lets it bounce around the 30, and, you know, it goes about one, maybe two yards down around to the 28-yard line. Well, we're going to we're gonna have to earn <clears> this <throat> one. We're going to have to earn this one, Shane. Cavaliers will take over with a chance to, to, to put a long drive together here and eat some clock up. Five minutes to go before halftime. Yeah, we've started every drive at the 50-year end, and we're finally on our own 29-yard uh, line. So see if we can get a long drive together. But you never know with our offense and all the big plays we're capable of. All right, here comes the Cavaliers. Looks like we're going to go out of the shotgun right here. This is a new look. DJ split out to the left, yeah. kind of like in a slot right here. Twins to the right. Looks like a jet sweep motion. And kind of like hand Oregon. It, hand it to DJ, and he gets around the middle. Jeez. And he gets about six yards right there. Yeah, it looks like he's up to the 36-yard line. So, looks like we had a little, little jet sweep motion, kind of like what we saw on north side in the scrimmage, and we were able to pick up some good yardage on a play. And once again, Coach Napier really making this playbook thicker and thicker every year. You know, lots of different formations, a lot of different ways we can attack our uh, opposing defenses. 
All right, twins to the left this time. <clears throat> and here's that eye look. Dylan under center, takes snap, gives it to DJ right in the middle. He bounces to the right side, and he's got some yep, room he's got across a lot the 40. Room, and he down may to the 50, be gone. cuts it back across the field. Don't at stop the 40. running, DJ. Is that a so horse He color? was tackled yep. by, his, by his helmet like, there yeah, face around mask. the 25-yard line. Yeah, that was, a, that was a pretty blatant face mask, too. So flags everywhere on the play. Man, what a run right there by DJ. He's slippery, man. He took that uh, a good block, lead block by Jabril Jackson. DJ able to get outside and hit in a. He's and just so lean back in inside. Yeah, he's so hard to tackle, man. All right, well, with the 15 yard, <clears> that's going to put the ball down around the 10 yard line right here. Yeah. And that was just desperation uh, mode by the defensive was. back. I mean, if he didn't do that, he was going to go for six. So can't blame him there. All right, it's going to put the ball on the 12 yard line. You would have probably took that Saturday, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Absolutely. I would just be happy if someone would knock a Hail Mary down. You know? That's all I want. All right. Here's the uh, snap to Dylan. He drops straight back. I'm not sure what that was, but he's going to throw a fade over to Braylon. With pass interference, too. Yeah, and Braylon and just, uh, he just out, out him. muscles the guy. Jeez. Randy Moss would be so proud right now. That was an interesting-looking play right there. It looked like Dylan almost put his arms up like it was a bad snap or something. It, yeah, it looked like he it was trying to get the uh, the defense to follow him and uh, follow his his hand motion. He fakes uh, fakes it like a bad snap, then throws the fade to Braylon, and uh, Braylon's been doing what he's been doing all season, and that's mossing people. So, so another <clears throat> Cavalier touchdown here with four minutes to go before halftime. Andrew, the score is thirty to zero. Yeah. And uh, Noah's coming in to kick the extra point. Noah's done a great job today. Let's see if he can continue it. <clears throat> Here we go, Noah. There's a snap, the hold, the kick. Mr. It's Automatic. Up. And it's good. Yep. So Cavs on top, 31-0 to zero with four minutes to go before halftime. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Have you gotten your flu shot? Now is the time. Holmes Pharmacy is the place to get your flu shot. And if you have insurance, it could be free. So don't wait. Drive right up to Holmes Pharmacy and get your flu shot today at Commerce Avenue in LaGrange or in Hamilton. And if your doctor feels you need a high-dose flu shot, Holmes Pharmacy has you covered. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, here's the Noah Stevens kickoff. Short kick this time, taking it about the four-yard line. He gets around to the 20, 25. Oh, man. And he's taken down around the 28-yard line. So this is probably the best starting field position of the night for the uh, Trojans. Yeah. Great field position to start right here, going about the 29-yard line, and that's uh, I think that's the furthest they've been all, all game long, like you said. I don't think they've gotten past the 30-yard the line the whole game, their own 30-yard line. And and one thing I want to bring up too, Shane, is listen to how quiet the stadium is. You know, uh-huh. la- Last time we were down here for a game, they had just built this place. Uh, Quan Bray was playing for us, and I remember this place being uh, packed out and loud and the home field fans uh, – the Trojan fans are all sitting on their hands right now. Not a lot to cheer about. All right, here's first and 10. Ball at the 28-yard line for Lamar County. Malik from the shotgun takes a snap, gives it to his tailback off the left side. That's number Great eight. Great job again, setting the edge. And that's uh, Quay Parks right there. Gets maybe one yard on the play. Just nothing there across the front for the uh, Trojans. Yeah, great. Once again, front seven of Callaway really just dictating this football game. It makes it a lot easier to play when you know your defense is going to go out and force a three and out. All right, brings up second down and nine. I'd like to give a quick quick shout to my daughters, Alyssa and Skylar. They're listening. And my beautiful wife, Brittany, love you guys. See you guys here in a little while. Don't wait up. It's a pretty long country ride over here. Yeah, long, long ride. Second nine, there's a, a quick toss pitch out a great to the left. Tackle. 
And there's uh, number eight right there, LaShawn Terrell. Again, man. Making a great play. Setting the edge, doing a great job from his defensive end position, you know, being able to make a tackle in the open field, and that's what you want, man, when you're one-on-one -on -one battles. Yeah, and, and I think LaShawn got – he's got, he got <coughs> off to a bit of a slow start this season. Um, yeah. But, man, these last three or four games, he has turned it on and – Man, he's starting, he's starting to look really good at that defensive yeah, end spot. He does such a great job of setting the edge. I mean, he really – he's real physical, and he's really hard to block one-on-one. -on -one. All right. Looks like Lamar County letting that clock run. I don't blame him. 2.37 to go here before halftime. 31-0. to zero. Cavs on top. Third down and 16 here. Ball on about the 19-yard line of Lamar County. There's the snap. Elite's going to drop straight back and he just, just throws throw it, it up. up. Over there to the left side. Lamar County wanting a flag there, but I, I don't man, think that, you can call a flag whenever uh, you throw it out of bounds. So, Yeah, that ball was <coughs> uncatchable. Good seven or eight yards out of bounds. And, so. spe and speaking of shout outs here, Shane, we need to give a shout out to Sour Patch Kids because <laughs> my, this is the biggest bag of Sour Patch Kids I've ever seen in my life. That's the 1.9 pound bag. If Shane starts acting really weird in the second half, you know he's just on the sugar high because <laughs> this is a lot of Sour Patch Kids. And it's, I mean, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Here's the Davis punt. He gets it off a line drive with a bit of a spiral to it. Bounces on the 50. Just, just let it go. And then rolls back. Get Looks it. like the ball's going to be on about the 47-yard line. Two perfect, perfect time right here. Callaway yep. come in, two-minute offense. Yep. Get a, and we're on the we're on a, the 50 again, and you got two minutes. You can still run your offense right here, and I, and it got all. I think you got one timeout left. So, uh, a lot of things we can do. Lots of the playbook still open for us to use on this drive. I think if we can punch it in here, you can go ahead and just tie a bow on this one. All right, Dylan, and the Cavaliers break the huddle, head to the line. See, looks like they're going out of the shotgun right here. DJ stands to Dylan's left, and that looks like Braylon and Courtney down here on the low side, and he just hands it off to DJ and picks up about three. And he is such a tough runner. Yeah, he doesn't look like it, like he would be a, a tough runner inside the tackles, but, man, it's it, he's so small and so hard to, to wrap him up, you know, even in the middle of that football field. And he runs with such good pad level. All right, here's the uh, second down play. There's a snap to Dylan. He drops straight back and looks. He's setting up that little jailbreak screen right there to Courtney, and Courtney gets out of two tackles and good gets job. enough. Looks like he got enough for the first, first down. down. Yeah, good job, Courtney. I mean, he caught that football and he was running and didn't let. He ran right through those arm tackles and. And I love to see that right there, Braylon, right there, just blocking his yeah. butt off for Courtney. Such a selfless player, you know, Braylon. I mean, he's he's obviously one of the best players on the football team, but I mean, he'll he'll block for his teammates. He'll. You know, whatever needs to be done, Braylon Sanders is going to do it. Whether it's catching, blocking, whatever he needs to do to help win that football game. All right, here's a first down and 10 play. Watch out, Dylan's going to roll to his left and throw a quick pass out there to Braylon, it. and he gets past the stick, sits down in a little zone right there, and that's yeah. going to be enough for another Cavalier first down. Yeah, rolled out to his right, and it uh, looks like Braylon ran a long comeback route. And they're giving Braylon such a big cushion <clears throat> right there. And that's what happens when you're getting burnt deep like they are. It, it, you know, you're going to get, you know, like you said, there's a seven-yard cushion right here. Again, same thing. I mean, there's actually nobody on Braylon right here. And over here on this There's side. A, snap, a bad snap. Dylan picks it up, and he's looking to throw, and he still gets the throw away, and he's got Braylon down there. Incomplete. In Incomplete. and out of the hands. Maybe just took a little too long to get that pass off, but he, he had Braylon open there early. Braylon looks no, so nonchalant back there when the ball's in the air, like he's just got so much confidence he's going to catch it. So yeah. about 56 seconds left, second and 10. You got – I can tell you two more that had that same look, Quan Bray and <laughs> yeah. uh, Terry Godwin. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and also, you know, Q Leslie that played for us for a while, oh, too. Oh, Q you know. was smooth. Mm -hmm. All right, there's a shotgun snap. There's Dylan's an option look. Keep it up Straight the middle. He's got run. a huge hole. He, he gets a, off to the left side, 10, 5. He dives for the end zone. Touchdown. And they're going to give it to him. Callaway Cavalier touchdown with 47 seconds to go before halftime. So about a 31-yard touchdown run for Mr. Johnson right there. Just a straight quarterback power run. I've been so impressed with the way he's been running the football. He's just – it's like he gets better with his vision every single week. And, man, I wonder if DJ's been working with him about his cuts and stuff. Man, he it, might. It almost looks like it. He may have because Dylan has really ripped off some nice runs this season. You know, 
the most memorable one for me is when that Hanley game, they got called back. Yes, he looked like Tim yes. Tebow, man. He broke all those tackles. So Dylan can run in between the tackles, and he can also run outside. All right, the Noah Stevens kick is good. 47 seconds to go here before halftime. Cavs on top, 38-0, to zero, thanks to a 31-yard uh, Dylan Johnson Touchdown, quarterback man. run. Yep. We'll take a quick break. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Car won't start? Or does your problem sound a little more like that? Come to Stanford Automotive to get your car in tip-top shape quick with a reliable team of automotive specialists. Stanford Automotive, 706-882-0186. 66 Young's Mill Road in LaGrange. Stanford Automotive, 706-882-0186. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, the Noah Stevens kicks taken down around the 12-yard line. Got to wrap up. There and that go. was number 24 right there, uh, Jalen Harris, with a good return for the Trojans out to about the 29-yard line. Yeah, <clears throat> and, and if you're Lamar County, it's almost like, you know, you're going to have to try something different because no matter what, you know, whatever they're doing right now, it's just not working. They can't run the ball. They can't pass the ball. I mean, I, if I'm them, just give a different look. I mean, run a trick play. Or something, you know, just get just, they got to find a spark because Callaway has four down linemen, and those four down linemen are dominating this football game. All right, 40 seconds to go here before halftime. Lamar County comes out, ball on about the 29 yard line, and here's that trips look to the left this time with a uh, single back. I wouldn't be shocked to see there's a, back a shotgun side snap, and he's just gonna hand it off over the left side, and uh. That right there was another good play. And that looks like number 28. Is that T.I.? <coughs> yeah, I think that's T.I. Well, that's 21 right there for the Cavaliers. Is that Quay Hines? Jonathan Leonard. Jonathan, that's a yeah. freshman right there. Yeah, Leonard. Playing linebacker. Always, always around the football, man. He's had a great season himself. Oh, Ooh, big, that might be the biggest play of the day for Lamar County. Yeah, he rips off about nine. Are there going to be enough for Lamar County first down just right up the middle? Well, and also with eight seconds left, we're, we're in a prevent defense. I mean, we're going to concede those eight to ten yard runs as long as they – because you know what they do, Shane? They eat up clock and we go to halftime. They do. And, and these are valuable snaps for these young guys right here. Absolutely. It looks like they may not get this snap off. I don't think they One will. One second to go. He got the snap off, and he hands it off to his tailback, and yeah, he's nothing. buried after about a two-yard loss right there. So the Cavs take it in the halftime, Andrew, 38-0. to zero. Uh, The offensive score points on every possession, Yeah, which uh, you can't ask much more than that. No, it, every possession they've scored, the defense, I believe. You, let's take away that garbage possession right there because we knew they are just trying to keep them out of the end zone right there. But you got five out of six defensive series for Callaway or three and outs for Lamar County. That's impressive. That was a complete first half right yeah. there by the Cal Cal Cavalier football team. Uh, let's, you know, hope they can come out in the second half, maintain that same intensity, Yeah. Uh, you know, get to that running clock, and uh, we'll get out of here, be 1-0 in the region. And yeah, and get ready for a huge one next week with Heard County. And start preparing for Heard County. Well, let's take a full break right here. When we come back, we're going to let you guys listen to the Callaway Cavalier Band, the Lamar County Band, and uh, watch some of that stuff. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Introducing the most valuable provider, your nationally ranked Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center. Ranked a top 100 large community hospital by Truven Health Analytics. Named a top 100 great community hospital by Becker's Hospital Review. Rated top 100 in medical excellence and patient safety by CareChex. Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, award-winning health care right here in LaGrange. To learn more, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. We believe in life well lived. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's the step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. There's a secret to beating injuries or ailments. Get the right team. Emory Southern Orthopedics, well-trained, experienced doctors, nurses, and staff 
are that team. These teammates listen and understand your specific condition and provide high-quality hometown care that will get you back into your game. For more information about Emory Southern Orthopedics team, visit www.southernorthopedics.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, guys, I'm Shane Andrews back here live with Andrew Carraway. Andrew, it's halftime, 38-0, Cavs on top. Really good first half right there. Yeah, I mean, that's like you said before the break, uh, you know, it's close to a – a, a, a complete half of football that we've seen all year. I mean, we've seen glimpses of it, you know, with uh, Ups and Lee, you know, with uh, with how we played against, uh, uh, you know, LaGrange in that first half. But, I mean, this has really been impressive to see us come out defensively. We're getting them off the field. Defensive line is just absolutely crushing their offensive line. There's no polite way to put it. And the offense, every time they're out, now granted, a lot of this is short fields, but why is that? Our defense is doing their job, forcing Lamar County into bad field position. And, you know, Noah Stevens, man, kickoffs, he's been amazing. Special uh, Field goals, he's made his only field goal attempt tonight, a 25-yarder, and he's made all five of his extra points. So you can't ask much more from the Callaway Cavalier football team tonight. Great job, great uh, use of the bye week by Coach Wiggins and his staff. All right, and, uh, you know, not only does the football team, you know, work out in that hot sun all week and, and spend countless hours trying to get better, but the band does too. And we're actually going to throw this thing down here live, let you, uh, for the people that are on the website, you know, you can watch and listen to it. And then the people on radio, we're going to let you listen, listen to the Cavalier band. And, man, they do a, a fantastic job uh, at, at the halftime entertainment. So this is the Callaway Cavalier band. the sounds of the Cavalier band and like we mentioned they're not the uh, the, the football team's not the only ones out there working all year yeah you know to to come out and, and put on a show on Friday nights the band does the same thing and you know I'm, I'm super proud of those guys yeah also. they've done a great job and the, the band director and everybody the drum major every, the, everyone that, that's involved with the band they do a great job they work hard every day to to put on a good show for us, and they uh, do such a good job of supporting that football team. Yeah, I mean, I see all the percussion instruments. We've got a bass guitar down there, an uh, electric guitar. So they, they go all out, man. Quite, to, quite the ensemble. To, to put on the show for, for these people. Yeah, absolutely, man. All right, well, let's take a quick break. Andrew, we'll come back. We'll, uh, we'll touch on, on some of this football game some more. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. There's a secret to beating injuries or ailments. Get the right team. Emory Southern Orthopedics well-trained, experienced doctors, nurses, and staff are that team. These teammates listen and understand your specific condition and provide high-quality hometown care that will get you back into your game. For more information about Emory Southern Orthopedics team, 
Visit www.southernorthopedics.com. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, welcome back live. 38 to 0, Cavs on top. We got about 13 minutes before we start the second half. Andrew, you mentioned the uh, line of scrimmage, you know, is always huge in a football game. And, you know, obviously Callaway's doing a great job on both sides of the ball tonight. Yes. And the thing that impresses me the most is Callaway's doing the majority of this with just four down linemen on defense. Yeah, I mean, they're getting pressure on the quarterback and they're really whipping their blocks up front. And uh, it makes Coach Hubbard's job that much easier when he doesn't have to expend resources by using his secondary players and his linebackers to, to blitz and rush the passer because our front seven, our front four is being so dominant right now that the linebackers can just play run support or play the pass, and it doesn't get too complicated right there. So great, uh, great week of preparation for uh, Dusty Hubbard. And, you know, I've mentioned all year about chasing that, that complete game, uh, you know, in both halves. And it's gonna be it's gonna to be tough for the kids to come out, you know, up thirty eight nothing. You're gonna have a lot of younger players uh, getting getting some really valuable snaps here in a region game, uh, you know. And down the line, that's gonna be huge. But you still you wanna you know you wanna run your offense and you wanna execute on defense. Absolutely. And uh, you know, find out find out you know out of all these kids, you know, who are some of the ones you're gonna be able to kind of lean on down the road when you have to. Yeah, and, you know, this would be great for that. Yeah, and it's like we've talked about all season. You want to have that depth in the postseason because that's that's big boy football, and we're going to see some teams that, you know, aren't anything like we've been, that we've seen all year. You know, and, and we talked about this in the pregame. You know, Hanley is probably the best football team we've played the whole season. Hanley, Harris County, and Upson Lee, and, you know, they've really – helped us to get ready for this moment in region play. And, you know, we come out and score 38 points. Now, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, Shane. I don't think Lamar County has maybe 50 yards of offense. I, I feel 100% confident saying that. It, it, that I don't think they have more than 50 yards of total offense. And they've gone three and out on five of six offensive possessions. And like I said earlier, this is a Lamar County team that, you know, they moved the football uh, against Troop. Yeah. And I thought that they played Troop a really good football game in the first half. Yeah, and Troop's had, you know, uh, on a side note, you know, shout out to them. I mean, they've done a great job of turning that, you know, Coach Glisson's done a great job of turning that program around. I've never met him. Uh, you know, I've he, heard nothing but good, uh, great either. things about him. Uh, yeah, he's he's awesome guy. You know, I follow him on uh, Facebook. He's a he's a good guy. He does a lot for his kids, and he, he's all about character. So he's done a great job turning that program around. Uh, I don't know if they have a game tonight. Um I think uh, – let me see if we got any other scores here, uh, Shane. Uh, looks like second quarter, Cartersville leads LaGrange 21-7. So, yeah, that's uh, – uh, That might be uh, – Mr. Mr. Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence, man. Uh, you know, Number one quarterback this, in the country. Yeah, he's uh, – I don't think there's a whole lot of teams in the state of Georgia that can compete with Cartersville this season. So, Yeah, obviously that's a phenomenal talent there at quarterback. Yeah. And, That'll be uh, that'll be a tough challenge for the Grangers tonight. We've got about ten minutes to go before we start the second half. We'll take another break. This is Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. In the game of football, it takes the skill and effort of a team to reach the goal line. At Commercial Bank and Trust, we know it takes the same kind of teamwork to help you reach the goal of financial security. That's why we offer a team of professionals who are dedicated to providing effective game-winning financial solutions. You'll get the expertise you need from people you know and trust. Commercial Bank and Trust, a division of the Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Hi, friends. Jess Lichter here with Key of LaGrange. We're going pink this month for breast cancer awareness, and we'll be donating a portion of our sales to the Breast Friends for Life Hope for a Day campaign. So stop by and check out our selection of Kias and help support a great cause. It's fall savings times with me the 16s. they got to go to make room for the 17s. You can own a 16 Kia Cadenza for as little as $23.5. And you know if prices like these are not going to last long, come see us today or online at keyoflagrange.com to help support your local economy. Price plus tax tag and title. Start number 19215. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football online at Eagle 1023. All right, back here live, 38 to zero, Cavs on top here in Barnesville, Georgia, at Lamar County High School, home of the Lamar County Trojans. 
Uh, we mentioned Callaway came in here, Andrew, 5-0. <coughs> and oh. Yep. Uh, you know, I think it's huge the way that Coach Wiggins, you know, I'm not I'm, – I don't think that Coach Wiggins just did this on purpose, but the schedule is set up really well yeah. to, uh, to, to make a run with this Callaway team. Yeah. Uh, like you mentioned, you know, we got to get ready for a big game next week, Heard County. You know, we got them over at Callaway Stadium at home. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's huge for us. Yeah, our two biggest region games coming up for us are going to be Heard and Spencer. And they're both at home, you know, and, and laugh laugh if you want. You know, Spencer's normally the guy you schedule for your homecoming game, you know. But uh, the past couple of years, they've had a big resurgence with their football program, and they've made the playoffs, and now we share regions with them. They also dropped down from AAA. So, you know, the, the, a team to, to not take lightly, for sure, down the road. Well, they, uh, they're not going to be as good at tailback. No. As they would have been. Because their tailback plays for us now. Yep. I can tell you that right now. That <coughs> that uh, DJ, he has, he's certainly been a blessing for uh, yeah. for the Cavaliers this year. Yeah. Shout out to Spencer for that one. We appreciate DJ, man. He's been a blessing for us, especially replacing a, an all-state tailback like uh, Cedric Maynard. And, you know, we always mention before the game the uh, – the, the points that we score versus the points that are allowed. Yep. And, you know, this is obviously going to help that number that, that was already a really good number. We're, we're at our average. We average 38 points a game, and here we are in the, at, the, at the half. I mean, that's that's extremely impressive to me. All right. We've got about <laughs> seven minutes to go. Looks like the Lamar County Band's finishing up out there. Everybody's getting them a hamburger and some, some chips and a drink and, Man, that sounds good about right now. <laughs> Speaking of hamburgers and hot dogs, you know, I'm going to give a shout-out. You know, my girlfriend, Kirsten, it's about dinner time, so make sure you eat something while you're studying back at home. <laughs> I know how you are. <laughs> All right. Well, we got about six and a half minutes to go here. We'll take another break. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. When my car has problems, I need to have it fixed quickly, correctly, and cost-effectively. I don't have time, money, or patience to take it to a shop more than once. So I count on Stanford Automotive. They take care of me. They get my car back on the road, and they're located at 66 Young's Mill Road in LaGrange. And they know the preventative maintenance, too. Stanford Automotive. Call 882-0186. They're located on Young's Mill Road in LaGrange, and it's the only name you need to remember for car care. Stanford Automotive. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. There's a secret to beating injuries or ailments. Get the right team. Emory Southern Orthopedics, well-trained, experienced doctors, nurses, and staff are that team. These teammates listen and understand your specific condition and provide high-quality hometown care that will get you back into your game. For more information about Emory Southern Orthopedics team, visit www.southernorthopedics.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, Andrew, we got the uh, some players coming back out on the field now. It's like we're probably around seven or eight minutes before we start the second half. And you know that we're going to see some younger kids come out, uh, you know, 38 to nothing. Do you want to put your, your ones no. back in there for no. one more series? I, I, I may put them in for a series or two just to kind of get those reps. But after that, I mean, let's just be honest here. We're not going to be PC about this. This one's over. I mean, unless we have a catastrophic, you know, collapse in the second half, Lamar County's not going to score a 38 unanswered point. So the yeah. biggest thing right here is let's let's uh, let's maybe go, let's get the off- starting offense another run, and then let's get these young guys in here. And we've seen what they can do too. You know, uh, uh, Ramsey's done a good job at quarterback this year and, uh, and for the second unit. And, um, you know, and the other guys that normally, you know, uh, like, like you said, uh, uh, Fanning, tailback, you know, he always runs hard with that second unit. So, Yeah, I think 
<clears throat> like you mentioned, the, the big thing now is going to be to get out of here, not have any injuries, uh, you know, grade this thing out tomorrow morning, throw that Hurt County film on. Yep, and, that's uh, the one that matters right there. And, and start getting these guys mentally ready for that because uh, – They have a quarterback that they, uh, lights you up. They obviously have a quarterback. Uh, you know, Ohio State's offered him a scholarship. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if Urban Meyer wants you, then you then you obviously are an athlete. You know, he don't offer pocket passers or statues. You know, you play for Urban Meyer, you got to be someone who can run. And uh, Emory has done a great job for Heard County this year, and they really waxed Temple last week. Right. Well, with that being said, we're going we're gonna to get through through these next two quarters, and then uh, we'll talk about Heard County after the game. So we'll take another break. Cavs on top, 38-0. to We've got about five minutes before we start the second half. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Tenovis Bank is here. And here, well, it's here in LaGrange, Georgia. Here is where the food tastes better and the air breathes like home. Here is the place that gets better because every generation leaves it better than they found it. Here is where Synovus helps people turn their ideas into business realities because the bankers at Synovus understand what it means to be from here. Synovus. The Bank of Here, serving you locally as commercial bank and trust. Banking products provided by division of Snovis Bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Have you gotten your flu shot? Now is the time. Holmes Pharmacy is the place to get your flu shot. And if you have insurance, it could be free. So don't wait. Drive right up to Holmes Pharmacy and get your flu shot today at Commerce Avenue in LaGrange or in Hamilton. And if your doctor feels you need a high-dose flu shot, Holmes Pharmacy has you covered. Hi. I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, guys, back here live. Cavs on top, 38-0, to getting set to start the second half. Andrew, you missed it two weeks ago at Harris County, man. I hear it. The band, this I had never seen this before. The band stayed out on the field too long. All right, during the halftime show? Yeah. The Harris County band? They get a penalty? So to start the second half, they backed the uh, the Harris County special teams up 15 yards. Oh, to, my gosh. To start, they did, to start the second half. And that, that was the first time I saw that. Uh, you know, I thought that was that was pretty interesting there. Yeah, and, and it's all you, you can also see they can get penalties during uh, during the game for playing while the team's on their side of the field or vice versa stuff like that. So, <laughs> I mean, I, I almost can't imagine anything else upsetting a coach worse than that. I'm sure that band director had <laughs> when, to buy him a when you chicken come, biscuits for a week on that. You come out of the locker room at halftime, and the referee comes up to you and says, "Coach, uh, we got to back you up 15 yards." You. Your band was out there too long. Especially after giving up that, uh, I heard about that touchdown that Braylon threw with about five seconds left. Man, in the that, second, first that was something else. That That's obviously something for him to put on his highlight film. Uh, I've like, watched a lot of a lot of <laughs> high school football, and I don't know that I've ever seen a kid, while he was running to his right, throw a ball a football like that 50 looked, yards down the field. He looked like Jacob Easton when he hit right, Riley Ridley the other night. Only without the Hail Mary at the end. <laughs> that that was a, a, a phenomenal was a, individual yeah, effort there Braylon's by Braylon. Braylon's got a huge cannon. So. But I look for us to see our young guys get in there at quarterback, uh, Kendrick Ramsey and Jacob Freeman. Yes, Kendrick Ramsey, Jacob Freeman. Uh, and then, you know, I'd like to see MJ maybe get involved. Yeah, he's such a good athlete. And and I, he and I, is. And I see them kind of grooming him in that slot receiver role. They want to get him to football, but I think they want him to get comfortable playing on offense because he's played for the majority of the season at a cornerback or defensive backfield. Yeah, and, you know, he, he he's obviously got a, a chance to, to be be that next big thing yeah. for the Cavaliers. and Just like know, his brother was for Savannah Christian last year. I've mentioned it all year about Coach Wiggins' teams in the past. Is, you know, having those two or three standout studs has never been, been a problem. They've always had them. Uh, you know, getting some of those younger guys to buy in, yeah, and and come up and and help when needed, and, and contribute right away, and not have to wait for them. You know, and that's been a an issue in the past with us has been depth. You know, like you're talking about, is we have a lot of talent, 
But, you know, that talent can only last for so long if there's no one back there to help, you know, and the players coming up have done a great job of buying the Coach Wiggins' message, which has always been the same, consistent message, do your job, don't do stupid, you know, don't make stupid mistakes, come to work hard every day in the weight room, in the classroom, on the football field. So great job by this uh, freshman and sophomore class of buying into the Callaway football system. Right, and that, you know, that's probably <coughs> something that a lot of people don't understand is this isn't something that, you know, just happens. Mm -mm. You know, these Lots guys don't just wake up and come out here and are, are executing these plays and, and doing what they're supposed to do. These guys put in tons and tons of hours of work, yeah. uh, effort, sweat, blood. I mean, you know, I remember as a player, the summer, everybody else is at the lake, at the pool. Guess what? 7.30, you're in the weight room. You're doing plyo boxes. You're doing sprints. You're doing weights. You come back that afternoon. You're running routes in shorts. You're going to camps. Yeah, but a lot of the stuff, though, there's a lot of work. There's a lot of things that Coach Wiggins did, did for us, especially when I played. I'm pretty sure he does it now, to reward you for that. You know, like, I, we, we got to go to a camp at Georgia in my senior year. Got to meet the coaching staff, the players. A moment I'll never forget for the rest of my life. And we got to go to Auburn. We got to go to Tennessee. All types of different camps. So, he rewards his players, that's for sure. And we've, you know, we've mentioned before, you know, <coughs> being able to, to turn – Turn your TV on, TV on not only on Saturday, yeah, to watch you know Cavaliers at a play, but heck, man, you can turn your TV on on Sunday, and uh, we, you know we got a we got a Cavalier in the NFL. Yeah, Quan Bray, man, and he's done. He was such a a great player for us when it, his three years at Callaway. Um, you know, such a, one of the best players in school history, in my opinion, if not the, the best one that we've ever had, and. I wish him nothing but the best. He was such a good player for us. And uh, all the way from middle school, all the way up to uh, to high school, college, now the, the NFL. So And, uh, and I, you know, I, I keep up with him, you know, on, on Twitter and, mm -hmm. and talk to him some. And, you know, he does a lot of things for the community yeah. in Indianapolis uh, with the elementary schools and stuff. And, yeah. you know, Quan Bray, he's a class act guy could, all the way could around. could be more proud of him. And well, then. we're set to start the uh, second half right here. Cavaliers are going to receive the kick. Looks like we got DJ, uh, Dominique, and and Braylon back all deep. All that speed back there, so they can't. If they angle kick it, they're going to pay for it. Yeah, looks like that's what he's setting up to do right here. Angle kick it. <coughs> he does, and we call for a fair catch right there. And that's number seventeen, Jacob Friedman. He fumbled oh, the football. Man. Did he get back on that football? He, he did. He did. We got okay. the, we got the football back. He uh, took. I think he got a. Uh, a little excited when that ball came to him, and then uh, he kind of let it hit him in the chest, and didn't secure it. So, but fortunately, we fell on it, and it looks like the uh, starting offense is back in. All right, looks like it's going to be first and ten, ball on the thirty-yard line. And we will have a running clock in the second half uh, for our listeners at home. So the clock is ticking. I believe it is thirty-five at the half. I may be wrong. Um, you can feel free to tweet me, let me know. But I think. Uh, I think it's 35. If you're up by 35, that clock will uh, continue to run in the second half. All right, that's a good deal. 11:21 uh, to go, and Cavaliers got the ball first and ten around the 30-yard line. Dylan in at quarterback, and I think we have a different tailback. We do, and that's going to be Telly at the tailback right here. Hey, kid runs There's hard. There's a snap, and he fumbled that ball. Right back to himself. That that was interesting right there. He got yeah. about two yards on the play, Andrew, after everybody yeah. took a big and, gasp of air. And we're going to see that in the second half. I mean, these young kids, that they want to get in. They want to make a good impression. They want to keep building on what they've done in the past few games. And there might be a little bit extra competitive juices flowing for them. So they just got to calm down, run the play, and, and don't forget their fundamentals. All right, second down and eight now. He's, you know, he's still got big Jabril Jackson right there yeah. in front of him. So that – yeah, he's not running with the twos, so that's for sure. All right, there's a snap again, the give to Telly, and he. Oh man, what a great Jeez. job out right there getting that and hand he down. Up the first down too. What good balance right there. And we got so many different tailbacks that can that can run that rock that I've seen this year. I mean, you got DJ Atkins that can run the football. I mean, you don't see a lot of senior or junior tailbacks that you know will put their hand down right, right. there when they're going down to to keep their balance and, and get level. those extra extra two or three yards. Yeah. 
So the future is, you know, obviously bright. Absolutely. He's done a great job, and that's hats off to Coach uh, Neighbors, uh, Matt Neighbors, Callaway alum himself, uh, doing a great job with the tailbacks. All right, first and 10, Dylan under center, takes a snap, hands it to a fullback right there, and that looks like number 20 for the Cavaliers. And he gets about, I don't know, two, maybe three yards right there. And we would uh, give him a shout-out on the radio, but we don't have a, uh, a name for now. Yeah, 20. we'll have that fixed before next week. I have to get with my stat guy. <laughs> We're not like ESPN. We can't just turn around to our stat guy. <laughs> we got to send a, a carrier pigeon to him. We should have it next week, though. All right, ball on the 43. Dylan under center. Telly at the tailback. Get set. There's a snap. And there's a pitch out to Telly. He gets across oh the field. Oh, my gosh. Cuts it back across the middle. I think he's going to be close to a first down right there. What a nice little run by Telly right there. And, uh, Man, he runs hard. I mean, him, Bigsby, DJ, everybody that gets the that carries the rock for us a lot during games. They really run that run hard, good pad level. All right, thirty-eight to zero. Ball at about the fifty-yard line right here. Third, third down and one. Third and a short one. So I wouldn't be shocked if we gave it to the big fullback right here. All right, doing on the center. Sends a man in motion. There's a snap. There's a give to Taylor. He's looking for room. He's going to bounce it out to He's the left. Lowers Hold his helmet. It. He got a flag, though. He got the first down. Like you said, there's a flag. <coughs> and looks it's like that's probably in the holding area. Yeah. We haven't had a flag the whole game, and I wasn't going to jinx this, but uh, looks like we may have held on the outside. Yep. So, unfortunately, if we don't pick up the first down. It goes back to being about third and ten. All right. But there's already – there's only eight minutes, eight, eight minutes and 26 seconds left in the third quarter, though, Shane. Good deal. I like, I like, I like the running we clock. We might get home a little early tonight. All right, 8.26 to go. Cavs on top, 38-0. to zero. Driving here in the third quarter. It's going to be third down and about 12 yards. Ball on the 38-yard line. Cavs break the huddle. Looks like we're going to keep it on the ground. Looks like we're going to go with Ramsey at quarterback now. And there's MJ at wide receiver like you were talking about. All right, Kedrick Ramsey takes a snap from under center, fakes a give, rolls to his right, looking for a man. Just and he's going to take a sack. He's going to take <coughs> about a, about a four-yard loss right there, and, Andrew. And you know what? That he, he took a sack, but I'll say that's a smart play. He made a smart play. He, he was unsure. He thought he had a guy open. Instead of forcing a bad pass, he just takes the sack, roll punt, we'll go play defense. Hey, first stop of the night for Lamar County, so hats off to them. And uh, not a bad job by the youngsters at Galloway moving that football in that first possession. All right, brings up fourth and about, I don't know, <coughs> 16, 17 right here. And Dylan's going to drop back and get his first punt of the night. 7-19 to go here in the third quarter. A lot of, new play a lot of young players coming in for Callaway right now. All right, there's a snap to Dylan. He gets Good a punt kick. off. Nice deep kick, taken around the 25. Good tackle. Brought down at about the 29, so another great job by the Cavaliers special teams. Punt coverage team right there. We'll take a quick break. This is Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's the step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. The action continues now with more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right. Lamar County starts on the 31-yard uh, line. First play, kind of like a stretch play to the right side to the tailback. And MJ he gets like about shaking up. He gets about five, maybe six yards right there. Okay. Going to bring up second down and about four. MJ's limping a little bit, so hopefully he's okay. We definitely need him next week. 
Lamar County getting the play called in. Play clock down to about 13 seconds right here. Again, here's that shotgun look. There's a snap to Malik. Hand off to his tailback. That's number eight right there. Going right up the middle. Looks like he got enough for the first, first down. down. Yeah. Quay Parks right there. But I will say this, that second unit, there's not a lot of drop off on the on the line of the scrimmage play though. They're still making solid tackles. No, those guys, they're they're hungry and, and they'll fight right there, just like that first group will. That's good enough for a first down. First down and ten. About four fifty eight to go here in the third quarter. Cavs on top thirty eight to zero. Lamar kind of being a little casual, getting to the line. Ball on about the 42-yard line. They may be trying to eat a lot of clock themselves. There's a snap. So he's going to fake to <laughs> give up the middle. Good play by the youngster right there. Good pursuit. And here comes the Cavaliers. Who is led that? by number 15 Quay right Hines. there for the Cavaliers. And that was Quay Hines. They did a good job of stringing that play out. You know, uh, it was a zone read. They were able to tackle the tailback in the backfield. Quarterback kept it, and they did a good job of stringing that play along. And, tackling for no gain. All right, going to bring up about second down and <coughs> seven right here, Andrew. Ball still in Lamar County territory. Lamar County gets set. Looks like a trip to the right. Got a little H back over there for a block. false start by the tailback. They didn't call it. All right, there's a snap. There's a give to the tailback, and there's just nothing there. Cavaliers yeah. doing a uh, good job right there in the secondary. Yeah, good job by Callaway and uh, – like I said earlier, Lamar got a, you know, it is 38 nothing, but they did get away with a pretty uh, blatant false start in the backfield. All right, brings up third down and about six, maybe seven right here. A lot of new faces on the field for the Cavaliers. About three and a half minutes left in the third quarter. 38 nothing. All right, single receiver left, single receiver right. There's a shotgun snap. He's going to fake way the to give, stay and he's going to turn back to the left, looking down the field. He's got a man. I think they picked it up. Ah, uh, incomplete. He, he dropped it. He, he dropped it. He couldn't bring it in. That was They were looking for number three right there, and that's uh, Connor Jett. He, uh, they've looked for him several times tonight. Yeah, he's, so, he's, he's a little smaller, too, so it's hard to see him over the line, uh, the lineman and stuff. But uh, I thought he originally caught it, but then when he went to the ground, the ball popped out, so incomplete. All right, fourth down. They're going to bring Davis in to punt. And he's going to be standing at about his 35-yard line. Yeah. And uh, Let's see if they like, can get a better punt off this time. So we're going to send DQ back deep, see how he handles Haven't heard the, his uh, name called tonight. Maybe he can make a play for us in special teams. Yeah, this is huge right here. Let's see what DQ can do. He's standing at about the 23. He's going to get a chance right here. Well, he's going to let it bounce. He's going to pick, pick it, it up, up at about the 15, try to get up the field, makes a guy miss. Gets out to the 30, oh, bounces loose. it outside at the 40, hey, down and out of about. bounds at about the 45. That's the biggest punt return of the year right there, Shane. Man, just great job by uh, by uh, DQ. Just tons of athletic talent, man, on this Cavalier team. Yeah, like I said, he's been, been quiet tonight, and then he pops off a nice little punt return right there. So we got to get him a touchdown pass. He's got to redeem himself for that, uh, that drop it up some lead. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to let him forget about that until yeah, he redeems himself. Yeah, I haven't either. But, uh, you know, all in good fun, though. And we get him back another year, and, you know, he's obviously a, a, a talent. Yeah, great playmaker, great uh, great matchup probably on the outside along with Braylon. All right, looks like they've got uh, Freeman, Fumbled Jacob snap. Freeman in at quarterback. He hands it to Telly, nothing there, maybe a <clears> two-yard <throat> loss. Yeah, he bobbled the snap, still was able to hand it off to uh, – to fanning, but uh, there was just nowhere to go on the play. So here you're in the uh, you're in the third quarter here in a region game, and uh, you're getting some snaps for your freshman quarterback. Yeah, and, and and like we talked about at halftime, I mean, there's not going to be a lot of fireworks in the second half. This is about this is going to be strictly business for Cal Lake. You know, get these young guys work, build depth, and the way you do that is through reps. And the, nothing is more valuable than live in-game reps. And uh, this, I think, will really help Callaway down the road as we get go on a, go on a playoff run at the end of the year. All right, Lamar County's got a player down. <laughs> we'll take a break while they tend to him. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. 
Introducing the most valuable provider, your nationally ranked Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center. Ranked a top 100 large community hospital by Truven Health Analytics. Named a top 100 great community hospital by Becker's Hospital Review. Rated top 100 in medical excellence and patient safety by CareChecks. Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, award-winning health care right here in LaGrange. To learn more, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. We believe in life well-lived. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, Andrew, that was uh, number 14, Rondez Fletcher there. Let's hope he's all right. He's, yeah, he's a big-time player for them on, on, the, on defense. He's coming off the field unassisted, I think. I think he's okay. All right, so Cavalier football, second down, about 12 right here. And we mentioned uh, Jacob Freeman in at quarterback. Uh, looks like Telly at the tailback. You got DQ in there. You've got Courtney Williams in there. You know, one thing I'll say, too, I was just thinking about this as the team was coming on the field, who we, he, he kind of doesn't get a lot of credit, and he should be, Keandre Jones. Well, you know, you we've know, always mentioned. He's always there, but he. We don't man, say his name a lot, but that's old. a really good thing. Absolutely. And yeah, man, Cavs going to take a delay right there. I think uh, I think they thought that that was a timeout. That was uh, an official hey, learn, timeout. Learning moment for the young guys. So, all right. So that's going to back them up five more. About thirty seconds left in the third quarter. There's a snap. He fakes it and he boots oh, around to the left side room. and he's got a ton of room. He makes one man miss at the fifty down to the forty, to about the thirty six. Late flag. Let's see what that could be. Good job right there by Michael Freeman. Uh, just a, a bootleg. Let's see what that could be. Hopefully, it's hopefully it's not on us. A bootleg around to the left right there had the had both teams going to the right, and and he just tucked it and came around the left side with Face it. Face mask, Lamar County. So it had 15 more yards to that run. So nice, nice little run by uh, who was that number 16 for us? So good run. A nice little move there at the end, too, to, to pick up another. Yeah, that's Jacob yards. Freeman. Freeman. That's the freshman yeah. quarterback right there. Yeah, I've been impressed with Mr. Freeman this season. Well, that's going to put the ball at about the 21-yard Let, line. Let's see if the young guys can punch it in. But, hey, we're still in range. You know, Noah Stevens could, could see if he can keep his night perfect with another field goal. 10-9. That's going to do it for the third <laughs> quarter. So, we'll uh, start the fourth quarter. Ball on the 21-yard line, Cavaliers first and 10, on top 38-0. to zero. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Hi, friends. Jess Lichter here with Key of LaGrange. We're going pink this month for breast cancer awareness, and we'll be donating a portion of our sales to the Breast Friends for Life Hope for a Day campaign. So stop by and check out our selection of Kias and help support a great cause. It's fall savings times, which means the 16s, they got to go to make room for the 17s. You can own a 16 Kia Cadenza for as little as $23.5. And you know with prices like these are not going to last long. Come see us today or online at keyoflagrange.com to help support your local economy. Price plus tax tag and title. Stock number 19215. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football online at eagle1023.com. All right, guys, first and ten. Michael takes a snap and pitches it out. Got a, uh, like a holding. Got a holding play. Now you're going to see that with the younger guys, too. And that was number 34 right there, sophomore running back Antinius Barnes. I don't know if we've seen him this year at tailback. I, I may have not. I don't, not I don't think so. All now right. I need more depth. Sure are. So after the holding call, going to back the Cavs up. They're going to spot the ball down at about the 29-yard line. <clears throat> about first and about 18 right here. See if Coach Napier's going to dial one up. 
see if they let the young guy throw one in for a touchdown. I could, I could, I'd be cool with that. So you got MJ down here. Got you on the bottom. Yeah, let, let MJ go a little a little, uh, a little uh, go route, see if he can score TD. And Javon Hazleton up top. Letting that play clock run down. Six seconds. Michael takes a snap, hands it to Telly. And Telly just uh, nothing there. He's about another, about a two-yard loss right there for Telly. Yeah, and there's still some starters on defense for uh, Lamar County too. So, young guys running into a little bit of a buzzsaw here on their side of the field. All right, that brings up uh, second down and about 23 right here for the Cavs. Michael Freeman jogs back into the huddle. Cavaliers break the huddle. MJ again down here to the bottom. Let's see if we can. There's a snap. There's a fake. Oh, quarterback. He's going to roll. He's, He's going to throw it. Throw. Oh. He's going to keep it at the last minute. Gets across the 30 down to about the 26-yard line. I think line. he had MJ open. But, you know, that's another thing part about being a younger quarterback, too. Yeah, he had number 25 right there open. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he was open. Javon well. Hazelton. <laughs> All right, that's going to bring up a third down. Third and long. Definitely long, probably about 15 right here. Clock and continues if I'm, to run. I, Ten minutes to go here. I in wouldn't the game. be shocked to see us keep it on the ground, let that clock just keep running. You know, maybe maybe get a, a three or four yard run and see if we can get Noah some work from a longer distance on field goals. All right, Coach Napier sends a play in. Michael runs back to the huddle. Callaway breaks the huddle with about seven seconds on the play clock. Six, five, Gotta hurry. four. Gets a snap off with a second left, and it looks like it's just going to be a QB sneak right up the middle. <coughs> Freeman got about two yards right so there. I wonder if he's setting up a field goal. I think he is. It's like fourth down and about 12 right here. Let's see if uh, – So this would be a 32, 35 – I think a 37-yarder if we try it from here. And we're going to go for it. Yeah, I, I would have liked to see seen uh, – get Noah some, some – Yeah, some I mean, because there might be a time right later there. in the season you got to have a longer field goal here. I'd, I'd give him a chance to spin it right here and try to, try to kick it. All right, here we go. Fourth down. About 12 or 13 right here. Michael takes a snap. Oh, fumble. Oh, bad, bad mesh Lamar point and everything on right there. And Lamar County got the ball. And, you know, like you said earlier, you're going to see that with the younger guys. You want to definitely yeah. keep it, you know, to a minimum. But, uh, you know, that's going to happen. With and that's no difference than if they just stuffed us for no gain because they gained the ball at the original line of scrimmage anyway. So, it's going right. to come out, you know, if any of these young guys, one thing I want them to see from them is let's preserve this shutout. Let's see if these guys can preserve this shutout. So I think that would mean a lot to Coach Hubbard. And he would, uh, you know, Krispy Kreme, get them donuts from the boys. a lot of donuts. All right, there's a snap. There's a give to the tailback. He bounces it outside, and he's, he gets around oh, the defensive man, that's end. What we get for he's talking got a about big it. hole. MJ hawks <laughs> him down around the 30-yard line. They're actually going to mark it at about the 26. Yeah, big big run right there for Lamar County. Big, biggest play of the night, you know. Uh, and, you know, just little things like that if you don't, you know, keep containment right there. Uh, yeah, Learn, le learning moments. Yeah, that's good. And, you know, I'm impressed with, with the way <laughs> these kids get out here. They know where to line up and everything, and, and yeah. you know, that, that'll go a long ways. And now now it's just it's learning how to, the speed of the game and how to play at the varsity level and – and what it takes to set that edge and, and, and make sure you can stop the guys in the backfield and everything. So, young guys will be learning under fire tonight. All right, first and ten. There's a snap. Give Good up the middle stop. to the tailback. And that looks like number 60 right there for the Cavaliers. And that's uh, going to be Trey Hurd right there, you know, yeah, another sophomore right defensive lineman. Gained about a yard and made a good, good play at the line of scrimmage. Going to bring up second down, about nine right here. Lamar County is really not doing anything different than what they've done all game. Uh, basically, just a little halfback dive up the middle. All right, here goes uh, Malik from the shotgun. Takes a snap. And he runs it. into a wall. And then There's bubble screen. Quick bubble screen out to the right he side. He gets away from one man. And he's <laughs> down to about the one and a half, maybe two-yard yeah. line. 
and MJ at the end was trying to strip that ball out. And these these Lamar County fans are finally have a little something to cheer about tonight. All right, six minutes, six minutes, 50 seconds to go. Lamar County has the ball first and goal. Out of the shotgun. There's a snap. There's a give to nice, tailback. Nice tackle in the backfield. Good job right there. And that's number great 34 job. right there. And that's yeah. Antinius Barnes. Yeah, great job. Great tackle in the backfield. That's a loss all the way back to the, looks like the 10 yard line. Yep, going to bring up second goal from the 10. <coughs> good job there's right a shot there by right the now, Cavs. Shane. See so. if we can keep them out of the end zone. Yeah. That'd be that's good. A, that, that's a good way to start right there. All right, twins left. Single tailback. There's a the shotgun snap. He's going to give it to his tailback Ooh, right up the middle. Hole. He's Touchdown. got a big hole. Yeah. Touchdown, Lamar County with about six minutes to go here in the game. And I'm glad they haven't scored much tonight because that siren was intense. That was. That was loud. <laughs> so, Coach Hover catches a break. His wallet late catches a break. Late in, uh, in the fourth quarter of this game. Man, hey, good, it's good so try. exciting, though, watching all these young kids, man, get, get these meaningful snaps here in, the, uh, in a region game. Yeah, absolutely. And this is stuff that, like we said, so valuable moving forward and – something these young guys are really going to appreciate. All right, we'll take a break. 38 to 7 your score. Cavs on top. It's Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. Hey man, my car just broke down. I need to call a towing company. Well, then you should probably call a towing company. I know, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I need to call a towing company. Right, a towing company. You should call a towing company. Ah, man, come on. I'm trying to tell you which company should I call? Oh, call a towing company oh call a towing company a towing company 706-882-8399 a towing company 706-882-8399 the action continues now with more callaway cavalier football online at eagle 1023.com all right andrew uh lamar county gets in the end zone Late here in the game, yeah, about six minutes to go in the game. Yeah, finally get on the board with about six minutes left. So, uh, but hey, still can't take it, nothing away from how Callaway's played today. That's right. Been really impressed with, uh, especially with the now offensive gonna, line and the defensive line. Are they going to kick it or are they going to onside it? Oh, they would kick it. Another pooch kick to the left side. and uh, Got to communicate better, guys. I thought he caught a fair catch, but that's uh, – Quan Todd right there, and man, look at him just push the pile. They can't bring him down. He's finally brought down about <coughs> the 34-yard line. Man, he stayed on his feet for a while, and it took a while for the officials to blow a whistle. I thought his forward progress was stopped, you know, 30 seconds ago, and they kept they kept letting the, the pile get bigger and bigger and bigger. So, all right, all right, definitely a lot of new players out there for Callaway. I see number 31 out there. That's uh, Jawan Elder. Awesome. Number 88. And that's going to be uh, to carry on Bonner. Good. Let's get let's like empty, Jacob, empty the bench. Let's get everybody like Jacob's in the still in at uh, quarterback. He takes a snap. Ooh. Ooh. Was and that that's Taylor? okay. That's their starting nose tackle, making a play on a freshman. So, I mean, there's not a whole lot. Um, that's one of the guys that I mentioned in the pregame. Uh, <clears throat> made a tackle in the backfield for Lamar County. Um, big 64, Colby Battle, a 6'4", uh, 300-pound nose tackle. <laughs> so, uh, you know, hats off to him for making a, a tackle in the backfield against the second unit. All right, four and a half minutes to go. Cavs on top, 38 to 7. Jacob Freeman watching the play clock, letting that thing run down to about six seconds or five seconds. <clears throat> All right, we got a flag. A false start. All right, well, that'll stop the clock. False start against the Cavs. I'm not sure what happened. I'm not either. I, I'm just kind of upset with the official for letting the clock stop running. About four minutes, 23 seconds left. Callaway up 38-7. <clears throat> Brings about a second and 10. Something smells good. It smells good. 
I don't know what it is, man. Every time it turns fall, I always get a little tickle in my throat. So I appreciate y'all all night dealing with my uh, my throat. My voice keeps going in and out. So hopefully that'll be uh, corrected on my part next Thursday. All right, there's a snap. There's a pitch out to the left, and that's number 24 for the Cavaliers. And that's R.J. Williams, another freshman another running freshman. back. Yep. Good hard running. So that's going to bring the, the clock probably down to about three and a half minutes before we snap this ball again. Going to bring up a third down. And, and I'll say this, Shane. We've talked about a complete game performance. I'm going to go ahead and say it. this was a complete game performance. I mean, when the starters were in the game, <coughs> Lamar County could not hang with us in, in, at all this whole game. And I feel like if they would have stayed in the game, we could have we could have named the score at the end. So a very impressive performance today by the Callaway Cavaliers. All right, third down, about 18 right here. Again, uh, Michael Freeman watching that clock run down. Yeah, smart, smart on his part. Jacob Freeman, I'm sorry. we got so many Freemans, and we've had some Freemans. What a move. And then Jacob takes off and gets around the right <laughs> end. Keep fighting. He's just dragging people down the field, gets past the original line of scrimmage, and gets about yeah. three or four more. Yeah, so, so it's going to bring up, what, a third and six? Yeah, third and manageable right here. <coughs> What a run. That's another move he put on a, a, a linebacker, too, for Lamar County. Put him Actually, on that, skates. That's going to oh, be that fourth third down. down. Yep, that was third down. All right, well, let's see. Uh, that glare makes it a little hard for to see across the field. See who's going to do the punting here. Is Dylan going to do it? Is that Dylan or is that Noah? Well, that's number 53 for 53. the Cavaliers right there. Who we got? That's big Lawrence Thompson right there. Okay, let's see what he's got. All right, Lawrence Thompson standing at about the 29, set to uh, punt the ball off. There's a snap. He gets it off. Oh, he got it off all right, yeah. but, man. Wow. That may have went That went behind the Cavalier yards. bench. Uh, <laughs> where are they going to mark this ball at? Man. I know, he, I know his uh, friends are going to have fun watching that one. That's They're his, breaking down the film right that's there. That's his first punt of the year. It is. He's ready now. You got to get that first yeah, one out of the just way. Just shank the first one. And you're good after that. Okay, so that was good. That punt was good for like seven yards. Yeah, that's not. That's like, okay. like I said, they're gonna have a little. They're gonna have this a little is, bit of man, fun. Man, these this is this is huge for these kids getting to get in yeah. here and do this stuff, especially in a big region game. <laughs> got to learn somehow, right? All right. There's a snap. There's a give to the big. Big tailback right up the middle. He gets down to about the 40-yard line. So yeah. inside of Cavalier territory, minute 18 seconds oh, to go. Oh, and look at L Lamar's trying to go hurry up to try to get another touchdown. All right. And if they score, that'll put us exactly at our season average. Yeah. 38, sure 38 points scored and 14 allowed. But let's not allow that 14. Let's keep them out. One minute to go here. Let's stick it to them right here. There's a snap. Fakes a give to the tailback. There's that bubble screen again, and number three gets loose again, and he's finally brought down at about the 24-yard <laughs> line. Come on, clock, tick faster. About 47 seconds left, and they're going hurry up. Looks like they're on our 24-yard line. First down and 10. Malik looking over to the sideline to get his play. Shout something out to the receiver. Everybody goes to the wristband. Keep ticking. About Malik 30 seconds out of the left. shotgun. Takes a snap. He drops straight take back, a looking shot. to throw. He's, He's got, got a, man. a man wide open. And it was a bad pass. I think he's still he, did he he catch incomplete. That? No, they're going to say that ball bounced. You know okay. what? You know what? That's what you get for passing. He ball. was just too open. Yeah. Man, he was wide open. Obviously <laughs> a uh, uh, miss uh, miss coverage right there, but he tried to sell it though. Can't Nine seconds him. to go. Seven seconds. Six. Oh, that, yeah, it's it's over. That's the ball game. I don't Great think they're going to get it off. Great job. Two, one. Set points per game allowed. It's going to go down a little bit. So that's it right there. Cavaliers come to Lamar County for their first region game of the year. Score 38 points in the first half. Uh, clock runs the whole second half. What a dominating performance. Yeah, what a great first half for the uh, Cavaliers. And, you know, awesome for the younger guys to get, get those snaps in the second half. And yes. You watch what I tell you. That's going to pay huge dividends down the road. Uh Man, Coach Wiggins, Coach Neighbor, Coach Hover, Coach Neighbors, all those guys, man, just doing a phenomenal job. And it looks like everything's ticking, clicking right when it needs to be. Yes. Uh, so Cavs on top, 38-7. We'll take a break. We'll come back, and we'll wrap it up. 
is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. First down and goal to go. In the game of football, it takes the skill and effort of a team to reach the goal line. At Commercial Bank and Trust, we know it takes the same kind of teamwork to help you reach your goals of financial security. That's why we offer a team of professionals who are dedicated to providing effective game-winning financial solutions. You'll get the expertise you need from the people you know and trust. Touchdown! Commercial Bank and Trust, a division of Sonovas Bank. Introducing the most valuable provider, your nationally ranked Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center. Ranked a top 100 large community hospital by Truven Health Analytics. Named a top 100 great community hospital by Becker's Hospital Review. Rated top 100 in medical excellence and patient safety by CareChecks. Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, award-winning health care right here in LaGrange. To learn more, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. We believe in life well-lived. Hi friends, Jess Lichter here with Key of the Grange. We're going pink this month for breast cancer awareness and we'll be donating a portion of our sales to the Breast Friends for Life Hope for a Day campaign. So stop by and check out our selection of Kias and help support a great cause. It's fall savings times which means the 16s they gotta go to make room for the 17s. You can own a 16 Kia Cadenza for as little as 23.5. And you know with prices like these are not gonna last long. Come see us today or online at keyofthegrange.com to help support your local economy. Price plus tax tag and title. Stock number 19215. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. Have you gotten your flu shot? Now is the time. Holmes Pharmacy is the place to get your flu shot. And if you have insurance, it could be free. So don't wait. Drive right up to Holmes Pharmacy and get your flu shot today at Commerce Avenue in LaGrange or in Hamilton. And if your doctor feels you need a high-dose flu shot, Holmes Pharmacy has you covered. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football online at Eagle1023.com. All right, Andrew, uh, back here live at uh, Trojan Field, home of the Lamar County Trojans. Uh, Cavaliers traveled over here tonight. First region game of the year. Uh, offense scored on every possession except for <coughs> one yeah. in the first half. Put up 38 points. Defense didn't allow a single point. I think Lamar County maybe had 30 yards, total yards yeah. at, uh, at halftime. And, yeah. and that, you mentioned a, a real complete first half. Yeah, that's the most complete performance of the season from Callaway, hands down. Um, the only performance I can think of that could equal that one was um, the, the first half against Upson Lee. And I'll, I'll take the first half we had here over that one any day. So, uh, you know, great performance by Callaway, but hey, it only gets tougher from here. Got a huge game next Thursday night against Heard County and Emory.